completely forgot you were streaming today yeah me too me too thanks for pointing that out yeah <laughs> yeah a little bit a little bit later today but you know what it's gonna be worth it it'll be worth the wait because we're playing the cutest game in the entire world okay it's it's the long-awaited most incredible it's gonna be an adorable time. I can't wait to voice all these characters. Whoopee! Whoopee! Lost in lift! Aw, look at the babies. Look at those babies. I love them. When is when's Twitch gonna release some more of them cute some more of them cute characters? Huh? Ever since they made that Paga mode, I've never forgiven them. Aerosimp! What's up, what's up? Oh, gremlins? Okay, yeah, gremlin. <laughs> gremlin hanging out my chair. Little tiny troublemaking cat boy. I actually. I have my, uh, <laughs> I, have, I have no hat for this game. I don't have a hat. I'm so sorry. I couldn't come with, up with anything, okay? I couldn't do it. I was gonna put on like a wig or something for this game so that I could look like an anime character, but um, I, 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 I couldn't do it in time. Faulkner, yo, what's up, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sleep, no suds, absolutely. Let's freaking go, yes. Uh, chat asked before helping Kenny. What? Excuse me? I don't need any help. I know how to date. I'm a dating professional. I've dated one person in my entire life. Listen, I know exactly what I'm doing. I know how to talk to girls. I've totally dated girls before. Uh, you've been super busy. Hey, no worries. Faulkner, don't worry about it. Life, life gets busy. I've been a little bit busy too, after all. I was gone for like a week and a half, okay? No excuses necessary. Girls, what are those? Uh, these girls. <laughs> these beautiful girls, I guess. Or, uh, I don't even know what this game is. I've never played it before. I've never played it before. I've never seen playthroughs. Uh, I think it's an adorable dating sim that's just cute and you and you just uh, date girls, I guess. I guess this is a girl dating game. Uh, I, I want to actually jump right into this. I, I'm not even going to like sit around and talk. I don't I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I don't have anything to say today. I, I am. I have my brain is absolutely fried today. And you know what is going to fix a fried brain? Freaking Doki Doki Literature Club. This is it. This is it. This is how you fix your brain. This is how you this is how you get mentally healthy. <laughs> uh let me see, let me see. Dating one person is props the best. Oh so I need a I need a focus. The, excuse me, how do I full screen this? Is it like F10? Okay, that kind of works. That works for a moment. This game is not suitable for children who are easily disturbed. That's that's what I would say about these streams. <laughs> That's what I'd say about these streams. Not uh, not suitable. Uh, individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What is this game? What is this game that y'all are making me play? Also, D Fire, welcome in. How are you doing? Oi oi! And Divey, 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 what's up, my friend? It's good to see you. Who are you and why am I here? Excuse me, I am I am the Earl of Suds, aka Earl the Cat Boy, playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Don't be silly, you know exactly what this is. <laughs> By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you're at least 13 years of age, and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. <laughs> I love, I love this warning. What happened? What happened? Did something bad happen and the team had to put that up? Or are they just trying to scare me? What? Look, this is the third warning. The third freaking warning. Oh, be careful. Be careful, game's scary. Okay, full screen. Perfect. I thought that this game was boring. Wait, where'd my mouse go? <laughs> this game broken. How do, <laughs> where'd, the, where'd the thing go? Where's my mouse? Oh no! My mouse! It's gone! <laughs> God dang it! What the heck? Where'd my mouse go? Uh, my mouse is gone! <laughs> oh wait! Oh, I saw it for a second! Where'd it go? It's invisible! It's an invisible mouse! Ah! Help! 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 All my games are broken! Help! <laughs> my mouse is still gone! <laughs> oh wait, there it is! Look, I have a mouse! Why does it disappear in this game? No! I can't see it. You can see the mouse. <gasps> you can. I just can't see it. Oh, 
That's interesting. Should I just do this windowed? I'm just gonna play this game windowed. <laughs> what the heck? Why could y'all see the mouse and I couldn't? <laughs> this game, this game should have consented to stealing my mouse. This game's already messing with you. Do you have a controller plugged in? I did, I did, I removed it. I removed it, okay. New game, please enter your name. My name is Earl. My name is Earl, the cat boy. <laughs> okay, cat boy. Cat boy dating sim. Oh God. Oh wait, I'm gonna have to do all the voices. Oh no. Should should I try to like do girl voices or should we try to just like do a different voice altogether? Should I just do like a yes, SpongeBob SquarePants? I feel like that'll I feel like that'll ruin the game, right? No, 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 no. We gotta we gotta we gotta read these. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How many girl voices do you have? You only have like two? Let me see. Hey. Hey. <laughs> That's two. That's two girl voices. I I I don't know. We're just we're just gonna do our best. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. <gasps> that girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. <laughs> I need, I need my, uh, my VTuber needs to have more, more shadow on their face because I'm a protagonist in a, in a girl's novel. I'm a protagonist in, in this harem novel. Just kidding. Just kidding. No, no shadow face. No shadow face. Uh, you know, the kind of friend that you've never, that you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Oh, so my childhood friend. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. And I would get tired of waking up. What, waiting up? Oh my gosh, she's always late. But if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> Is that foreshadowing? Do I have to run away from these characters? <laughs> However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Who is Sayori? We're about to find out. Uh, do your girly voice. Hey, girly. <laughs> That's just a gay voice. Uh, you've seen YouTubers do both types of voices. Well, well, well. We could do we could do an official YouTube playthrough where I do all the voices perfectly. Errol, Errol Simp, thank you for the lurk. I super appreciate it. Enjoy your sleep. I'm glad that you crashed and went off to bed. Good, 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 good. Ha, ha. <laughs> ha, ha. <laughs> Sayori, I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only, <laughs> maybe, oh, that's me. Oh, that's me, I'm Earl. Maybe, but only be because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were trying, you were thinking about ignoring me. Okay, I need to slow down. I can't read any of these words. Oh, I can. How are you doing? Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. I said I would play this game, so here I am. <laughs> uh, this is going to be, this will be recorded for posterity. This will be on YouTube. Isn't that great? Hello, YouTube. That's mean, Earl. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. What? Is that true? Fine, fine. Okay, she perked right up. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Hee <laughs> hee. What is this little, this little tilde? How do I say that? How do I say that? <gasps> What's that cute? Aw, oh, the Warwick pink hair. It's so adorable. I love it. Aww. You gave them nicknames of Jerry, Jim, Germanimo, and Garfunkel? What? Excuse me. So which one which one is this is who's their nickname? Give give them a nickname. Also, I'm well. You've been vibing and just making memes. Nice! Kim the meme maker. Just as you should be. What whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that how to do that? Uh, we cross the street together and make our way to school. 
finally, school. I hope we're going to college. I don't want to play a high school game. Also, Coffee Casualty, welcome in. Oi, oi, welcome in, welcome in. Do you know that Warwick got partner? Yeah, I did the, I, I responded to them on Twitter. I'm so excited for them. I hope that they stream uh, like 24 hours so that we can raid them. Warwick is amazing, so deserves to be partner. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. But I'm also like, I'm glad, but I also totally expected it. Like Warwick was supposed to be partner like months ago. Like Warwick is 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 perfecto. The streams, the vibes, the games, like he deserves that 100 or they, I'm sorry. They deserve it 100%. Aha. I remember things. Uh by the way, Earl, have you decided to join our club yet? Our club. What's the Oh, it's a literature club. <laughs> what kind of club it was it's literally in the title it says doki doki literature club <laughs> was like what is this club is this like horror game club okay here we go yo coffee casualty thank you thank you so much for the sub yo i so appreciate it can we get some hype in the chat oi 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 thank you so much coffee casualty i appreciate it oi oi Coffee casualty. Which club again? Hmm. Wait a minute. You're not going to join Fight Club? I'm out. <laughs> you think that any of these people could survive in Fight Club? <laughs> the only one that could survive in Fight Club would be me, the Earl. You know who I'd love to fight? The Revenant. If me and if me and Revenant could have a one-on-one -on -one boxing match, sheesh, I'd love to see who wins. Uh, hmm. We don't speak about the fight. Oh, <laughs> I've not seen Fight Club. What? No Fight Club. No more Fight Club. No more girls. <laughs> no more anime. Uh, what happens in literature <laughs> club stays all over the internet. <laughs> Thank goodness. We need to know what's going on in this club. We should find out. Uh, I told you already. I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I, ha uh, I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me that you would join a club this year. Did I? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Who is this guy? I hate the protagonist. <laughs> Why is he ignoring Sayori? Shaking my head. Sayori, I would never treat you like that. This, this main protagonist, what a chump. <laughs> Name the time, the place, and what weapons I should bring. Wait! Is that... Is that A-Star confirming? Wait a second. Is A-Star Revenant? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was just talking about Revenant. Hang on. Hang on, this is interesting. Uh, hi there. I'm around just trying to get all my TFT missions done. Hey, Alchemic. No worries, no worries. Oi, oi. Much love, Alchemic. Thanks for watching over. Thanks for keeping, keeping a watchful eye about. I hope you're doing well. Oi, oi. Just make sure that you get back here in time for the uh, for the scary part of this game. If there is one, if there is one, there probably isn't. Uh, let's see, let's see. Ooh, thank you for the lurk, Lobby. I appreciate it. Oi, oi. Uh, Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly con content getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. <laughs> I was talking about how I was worried that you wouldn't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you'll be happy and, and I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What? I'm pretty sure that doesn't neat stand for like not employed or non not education, not employed. I don't know what that T is, but yeah, it's basically just like not being, not doing anything. You trust me, right? Uh, sure. You bet I trust you. All right, Sayori, you're the only one that I trust. Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. 
Not in education, employment, or training. Oh, in training. I see. That's what it was. Hi! <laughs> Witchley boy. Thank you for the sub. Hey. <laughs> no. No more subs. No more subs. Hey, oh, my goodness. Thank boy. you so much. Six months. Oh, my goodness. Oi, oi, oi. Thank you so much for the six months. Oh, a hype train is close. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Witchley boy. How are you doing? We're going to a literature club. We're, we're joining the Doki Doki crowd. Hooray! Hooray! No promises, though. That's how I live my life. Witchly boy, how you doing? All the subbies? <laughs> All of them? That's too many. Oh, no! My sub counter, it's broken. Will you at least promise me that you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess oh. I promise you that. <gasps> I've been booped. Thank you for the boop. You're distracting me. I'm supposed to be doing these incredible voices. <laughs> Just kidding. Boop away. Uh, now you're gonna go get cupcakes. Mmm. Go get some cupcakes. Yum, 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 yum. You were practically considered a neat after you finished school. You were struggling with finding a job. Oof. Yeah, I think I was a neat. I've been a neat for certain periods of time. I was definitely a neat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> furry alert. I love the furry alert with this face. Oh, well, well. Doki, it's Doki, Obsti. How are you doing, Obst? Oh, Obsti, thank you so much for the tier two. Ow, ah! <laughs> I super appreciate it. Oi, oi, Obsti. How are you doing? I'm doing my girl voices as best I can. Tee hee. What the frick? Yeah, Dr. Bean Cat. Hey. Oh, my God. Y'all. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. Why y'all spoiling me? Dr. Bean Cat, thank you so much for the sub. Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Noise, noise, noise. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. This game makes me Coco Ro go doki doki. <laughs> what the frick is a Kokoro? But this game makes my Coco Ro go doki doki. Is Coco Ro heart? Because. Because Doki Doki is the sound that your heart makes whenever you're, like, nervous. It goes, Doki 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 Doki, like that. So this is supposed to be, like, heartbeat, heartbeat, like, Oh, my heartbeat is racing. This literature is too exciting. <laughs> Hello, lovely boop snoots. Going to bed. Aw, Audrey, enjoy your sleep. Thank you so much for jumping in here and saying hi. Oi, oi, you're valid, too. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you validate me? Without letting me validate you. You got an ad for almonds? <laughs> almonds? Almond ad? Was it like a twit? Did it have a Twitch streamer like ad where they're like, uh, these almonds make me game extra good. You know what? Whenever I'm trying to drop in on Fortnite with my homies, there's nothing like an almond in a bowl to make me get the play of the game. <laughs> the Twitch ads are absolutely awful. <laughs> Uh, you gotta go to sleep too? Hey, no worries. Get some sleep. Lost in lift. I'm glad that you got to hang out for a bit. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, it was saying that almonds are good for your skin, apparently. I mean, I drink almond milk all the time and my skin looks great. So I can confirm, almond is fantastic for you. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. I'm promising to try. Yay. <laughs> Why do I let my get myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? <laughs> that's what that's what I think. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree boy? More than that, I'm surprised I even myself relent to her. I even let myself relent to her. That's a strange that's a strange way of saying it. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. Excuse me? You don't know what's in her head. Yay, we made it to school. Welcome to high school, everybody. I hope that y'all all have great memories for high school. Tee hee. Welcome back. All right. Exams. Exams are in right now. Pop quiz. Almonds turn you into cat people confirmed. <gasps> what? Is that true? Is that? That's what it is. That's what it is. It's because I didn't drink milk. If I drank milk, I'd have strong bones. But if you drink almond milk, then you'll grow big ears. Big fluffy ears. I studied on the way to school. Oh, <laughs> I did that a few times. We went to we went to a school that was like an hour away. And we only went once a week because I was half homeschooled. 
and I would always study on the way there. I would always have my books out and just like be be reading through everything. I would study like an hour before the test and I always did great. And then I flushed the information. <laughs> the school day is ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. Wow. Talk about a time skip that I like. After I packed, I was worried that they were going to make us do some exams. Great memories. Do high school exist? What? You mean you don't have any good ones? Shaking my head. I'm sorry, Kim. I'm sorry. Is, was there? Wait a second. Wait a second. Kim, do you remember like doodling in your notebook? Surely you did some doodles. Surely you did some doodling. That was lots of fun. Uh, oh, no. My high school. It was awful. <laughs> Uh, studied in the car and started to get started the day car sick. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't get car sick. No car sickness. Uh, after I pack my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wanted me to check out some clubs. <laughs> now I'm thinking of the weapon. I'm thinking of the weapon because I've never been in a club before. Uh, I guess I have no choice but to start an anime club. Let's go! Anime club! Who wants in? Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. Oi! Everybody, thank you for the hype train! Y'all, unbelievable. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Level 1 complete! Thank y'all for being, for being level 1 awesome. But you're level 100 awesome in my heart. Awa! Thank y'all. Uh, school was no fun. You said, uh, school was no fun. The only class that I did good in was art. And that was only like once per week. What? Oh, no. And you were no good at history. No good at, uh, geography. No good at geometry. Biology. Nothing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. At least, at least you had art. I mean, just look at where you are now. Clearly that art class was, was working some wonders. Uh, I mean, I do have a friend from high school that and we got into contact a few weeks ago He remembers me my art edits and hey, that's awesome. You got a friend from high school I haven't connected with my peeps from high school in forever forever uh, I have some friends from Boy Scouts though that I've been able to hang out with my uh, uh, I have two friends that I still have from Boy Scouts and I think oh wait I do have one friend from school kind of uh, what are good high school memories? Um, I have some good high school memories of like climbing on the roof Like whenever we had a high school that we went to that like had really really big um, Gutters really big gutter pipes and I climbed up the gutter pipe and got on the <laughs> got on the roof of like a two-story building And that was pretty awesome. It was so much fun. I could watch the other students from above. They look like little ants they look like little ants with only four limbs. You couldn't remember names and numbers well, so in history, you could remember the events happening, but you never knew what year they happened. <laughs> I think that's a pretty common experience. Like, didn't Julius Caesar and Cleopatra like live at the same time or something? I don't know. I don't know my history. I don't know what years things happened, but I sure know that they happened. Boy, oh boy. Uh, Sayori must have come to the classroom while I was spacing out. I looked around and realized that I'm the only one left in the classroom. <gasps> We're all alone. Oh no, doki doki. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw that you were just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, even though that you're worse than... <laughs> Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me. I was gonna make you late to your own... I'm just gonna make you late to your own club. Well, I thought that you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way that I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. <laughs> She's doing the fingers. Her fingers are so tiny. Oh my God. Look at her. Look at those fingers. Those fingers look like toothpicks. They look like the skinniest hot dogs in the world. Um, nod, nod, deaf roommates. Oh, who's your roommates? I don't have any roommates. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where are my roommates at? Do I have any roommates in here? I don't see him. Okay, no roommates. <laughs> you love this emote? Yes! We just rewatched that episode last night. 
I just rewatched that episode uh, of Smiling Friends. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Now, that show needs a warning before you watch it. Uh, eh, meanie. Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. What? In fact, I'm 99% sure that she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one... <laughs> this dialogue. Since she was the first one to show interest after the, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title, Vice President. That said... <laughs> script <laughs> why is it why why is it so long and convoluted oh that said my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less <laughs> Linz. Ah! Oh, oh, thank you so much Lindsay thank you thank you thank you 25 months Hi, oh my goodness hope it's good to see you well land for where love. have you been I hope you've been enjoying yourself Oi, oi, Linz! It's good to see you! Where have you been? No, you, Linz! Hey, you cuties! Hope you're all doing well. Ow -ow. I hope you're doing well, too. We're going to high school. You ready to go back to high school, Linz? Look, we've already we've already struck up a conversation with our childhood friend, <laughs> Sayori. Sayori's trying to get us to join the literature club, but I'm not buying it. I'm not- I don't have any choice in the matter, but I'm not buying it! Oi! Lind! Yeah, I'm going to be... Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care... Oh, <clears throat> why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring in a new member. Uh, and Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. <laughs> Why does it sound so mad? I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's as, or if she's as cunning to have a plan. If she's cunning enough to have it all planned out. Dude. <laughs> Why are you calling Sayori an airhead? Stop being mean to Sayori. Sayori is not dumb. Oh, bully. Bully. Just simply drop out of high school. Ooh. Would that would that make this game go faster? You drop out and then all the girls like chase you down in the streets. Come back here. <laughs> we have to talk to you. Oi! Pedro, welcome in. Oi, oi. Don't send me back to high school. I'll do anything. Oh! <laughs> Linz. Linz, what was so bad about high school? Why does everybody hate high school? <laughs> I don't understand. I never went. Oi! Pumpkin party? <gasps> pumpkin party, pumpkin party. I hope they got some pumpkin cake. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Whoopee! <laughs> the little tilde. Yes, let's go! <coughs> and thus, today marks the day that I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> Honestly, worth it. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school that I rarely visit, being generally used for third year students and activities. What? Are we actually in high school? Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Swoosh! Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me the new member. Eh? I glance around the room. What? My internal dialogue has S in it. <laughs> a dating simulator? You bet. We're going to be dating all the people. All the girls, I guess. I think there's only girls in this game. Oops. Sorry. Next time next time we should find like a, a bisexual dating sim. Eh? So? <laughs> eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature. <laughs> Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> girl one. Dude, I wish I was referred to as girl one. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? 
You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> I need to work on that. How do I how do I do a higher voice? How do I sound like an angry, annoying girl? Hey! <laughs> how dare you bring a girl? A boy! <laughs> What is okay? What is this, Monica? This is Mon. What does Monica sound like? Ah, Earl. What a surprise! I'm just gonna do voice one. <laughs> I've got three voices. Ah, yes. Girl one, girl two, and girl three. <laughs> we should we should date them in order. Uh, girl three. Welcome to the club. Dot dot. Wait a second. Can I give them like a southern accent? Wait, I forgot that I can do accents. Kind of. Poorly. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like, welcome to the club. Who's gonna be the southern gal? Who's gonna be the southern one? Maybe I'll make, maybe I'll make Monica have a more southern accent. <laughs> uh, this club. A southern drawl. It's me, Monica. One of them could be poo. No, nobody's poo. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club! Whoa! <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute girls! <laughs> what are you looking at? Wait, no wait. What are you what are you looking at? If you wanna say something, say it! <laughs> Sorry. Natsuki Natsuki the girl with the sour attitudes, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. I like Natsuki the best so far. <laughs> her small f <laughs> no! No! This game's awful! Her small figure makes me think that she's probably a first year. How dare they? How dare they? Uh, she's also the one that made cupcakes, according to Sayori. <gasps> Can cook! You can just ignore her. Wait. <laughs> you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear. Oh, you can. You can just ignore Sayori. She whispered deeply into my ear. Then she turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Uh, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. You know, honestly, relatable. <laughs> I know Kim! Know your worth! Wait, what? Kim, you deserve two cupcakes. Who would like two cupcakes? Ah, well, uh, nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. <laughs> It's great to see you again, Earl. Monica sw smiles sweetly. Oh, smiles sweetly. We do we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuine feels like uh, you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Earl. We made room for you at the table so that you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I get them. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one next to Sayori. Boom, boom, boom. Natsuki and Yuri walk around the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat. What? I didn't pick. I didn't pick. I sat next to, to Sayori apparently. I thought we get to pick things in this game. Natsuki proudly marches back to my table, tray in hand. Okay, you ready? <laughs> ready for what? Cupcake? <laughs> Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the trail, the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. <gasps> little cats! Wait a minute. 
Are they decorated like me? I'm gonna assume that all of them look like me. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Oh, wait a minute. They have, they have whiskers. So cute. I had, I had no idea that you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs the first one, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth. It's delicious. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. You gotta bite the, you gotta bite the ears off first. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. <gasps> I feel a romance. <laughs> is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. <sighs> the icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What? Why are you talking to me? It's not like I... I haven't heard... <laughs> haven't I heard this somewhere before? It's not like I made them for you or anything. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe. But not for you, you, you know, dummy. <laughs> all right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and I dismiss the conversation. I'm out of here. I'm done talking. I'm just going to eat all the cupcakes myself. Yuri returns to the table, grab carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You... You keep the whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you, you know. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. I love this. We should do more dating simulators. I, I love this so much. Also, Innocent Alex, welcome in. Oi, oi, oi. Hello there. Hello there. Alex, you got to help me pick. Okay, Earl. Cookie Run is addictive. Hey, let's go. We got another Cookie Run person. <laughs> yes, I need to free up a spot in the guild for you. Cookie Run has been uh, very much on my mind. <laughs> I keep playing. I've been playing those BTS songs like every single day. The the rhythm game's actually really fun. I, I wish that they gave you more tickets though. Oi, but besides that, how have you been doing, Alex? Oi, oi, oi. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might be, not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in, re in relief. Hey, Diggy Kitty. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Thank you so much. Diggy, thank you so much for the sub. Oi, I so appreciate it. Awa, 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 awa. How are you doing? We're dating girls. We're dating girls. We are, we are back in high school dating girls and everything is going fantastically. Oi, oi, Diggy, what's up, what's up? You progressed a lot. Oh, you got the Frost Queen cookie. Ooh, Frost Queen is really good. I think that that was... Oh, no, I think I got Frost Queen after uh, Holly Berry. I, I was playing whenever Frost Queen was uh, first released. It's true, it's true. I have every cookie besides the BTS cookies. I, I'm, I've only got two of them right now. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's impossible to get these BTS boys. I want to get Jungkook. That's my favorite. That's my favorite uh, character so far. I don't. I don't know about like how they are in real life. I haven't watched anything BTS. Doki Doki is definitely a game. I'll tell you what. Yeah, Thiggy Kitty. Nothing has gone wrong whatsoever. Everything's been going great. Everything's great. I just met three, four girls. We got four girls in this classroom, and we're the only guy. And we love tea. And the cupcakes were delicious. <laughs> you have the Jungkook cookie? Oh, that one's so cute. I love his eyes. 
I love their eyes and I love their 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 uh like their personality in the game at least. I don't I guess I guess they're silly in real life, but yes, I like the silly cookies. And uh and then Sh Suga Suga is so cute. Suga is is what I want to be. I want to be Suga cookie. <laughs> You got like 11 of them. Ooh, Innocent Alex, you got a lot of cookies. Wait a minute, where'd you get all these cookies? Innocent Alex, what are you gonna do with all those cookies? You're not gonna eat any of them, are you? They're supposed to be your friends. Don't eat them. Uh, you keep getting uh, ads for Cookie Run. <laughs> yeah, Kim, they, they have a big BTS event on, so I'd say get used to it because uh, Cookie Run is everywhere right now. Eat them. No. 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 Don't eat my cookies, Innocent Alex. Those cookies are my friends. They talk to me at night. They whisper in my ear. They say, play more cookie run. Don't go to bed. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Who did that? Oh, it's Lobby. Thanks, Lobby. I appreciate it. You really woke me up. Okay. <clears throat> Back to the game. <clears throat> uh, Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Uh... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, uh, I hadn't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure that you feel right at home, okay, honey? <laughs> Just how the voices say to me, go watch the Earl instead of sleep. Yes, don't go to bed. Keep watching the Earl. Just some... Do you need to go to bed? Kim, Kim, are you supposed to be sleeping? Kim. <laughs> human one. It's human one. Oh my goodness. Oi, oi, oi. Human one. Are we still down to play some games later? Awa, awa. I've been looking forward to it all day. Hey! Whisking, whisking unicorn! Thank you so much! What? Wait a minute! Did you change your name? Another Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> whisking unicorn! This is the first time that I've seen the new name! Oi, oi, oi! Let me see. I can scroll up a little bit. How are you doing? Oh! It's, is that is that the girl who bakes? Is that Erica? What? Eh? Hey? Whisking unicorn. Is that, is that new name? Oh, I could tell immediately. As soon as I clicked on your name, I saw the, I saw the, uh, the profile picture. Oi, I love the new name. It's so cute. It's cute. Oi, oi. Adorable. I could have guessed because of whisking. Whisking. It's a very cute name. I love it. I love it. Whisking unicorn. Yeah, that sounds like a really fun. I would love to have a shirt that has whisking unicorn on it. It sounds so cute. Oi, oi, how are you doing? We're playing a dating simulator. It's 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 a rip-roaring good time, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to take, to, to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of Debate Club last year? Uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it, honey. <laughs> and if it encourages others to go into literature, I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica's a really great leader. <laughs> Yuri nods in agreement. Then, then I'm surprised that there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting in all the effort and start something brand new. Especially when it comes to something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that it's both fun and worthwhile. <laughs> but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all grow this club before we graduate. When am I graduating? When do I get out of here? Right, everyone? Yeah! <laughs> we'll do our best. 
You know it. <laughs> Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Except for me. Bum, bum, bum. I haven't said a word yet. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. <laughs> Look at all these girls. Which one's the best? Huh? Which one's the best girl? I don't know yet. We need more information. I haven't had to pick anything in this game yet. We're still in the tutorial. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. In a literature club, what are we going to be reading? Like, Tale of Two Cities? Though I still don't really know how I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Earl, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not not much of a reader, I guess. Well... Uh, <coughs> well, that can change. <laughs> I can change, I promise. Please, just give me another chance. <laughs> what am I saying? I spoke to her. I spoke without thinking about seeing Yuri's sad smile. <laughs> anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind it is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a, in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the ways that her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the worlds of books, not people. <laughs> not the world of people. <laughs> is, that what, is that what we live in? We live in a people world? Oh no! That's why this world's so funky. But you know, I like a lot of things, like you. <laughs> Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Who wrote this? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grabs, grasp at something that I can relate with them at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri may as well have a conversation with a rock. <laughs> they're all special. Aw, you think that they're all special? That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Innocent Alex thinks that every one of these girls is special and we shouldn't compare them because they all have that special thing that makes them them. And Innocent Alex loves them for that. That is so sweet. Uh, she basically reads Isekai. Excuse me? No, 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 no. I, I actually like fantasy novels. Like, um, you know, Chronicles of Narnia, Lord of the Rings, uh, King Killer Chronicles, uh, Brandon Sanderson, Dune, all that sort of thing. I, I actually, I actually would agree with, uh, with Yuri on this one. Yuri probably has the most similar taste to me in books, but that doesn't mean that we're going to get along, okay? It's only one thing in common. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. <laughs> for, for someone as gentle as you... I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often successful at changing the way that you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually go to write about- <laughs> You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Natsuki. <laughs> I said it wrong. What? What gives you that idea? <laughs> you left a scrap of paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> Ehehe. <laughs> <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is as cute as you are. 
Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. <laughs> Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. I'm not a very com- Oh, <laughs> ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and knowing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you ha- do you- <laughs> How long does this go on? How long are we gonna be stuck in this classroom? I haven't made a single decision. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. They're just talking about books. <laughs> Peps, how are you doing? What's up, what's up, Garrett? Oi, oi, Garrett. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? We're stuck in this classroom. We're stuck in purgatory. They're, they're just talking about books. This game. Why did I agree to play this game? It's horrible. It's torturous. I changed my mind. Dating games aren't for me. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's a visual novel. Emphasis on the novel. Got it. <laughs> I think this game has some novel aspects to it. Oi! <laughs> Furry, eh? Takes one to know one, Peps. How are you doing? Uh, do you have any experience writing, Yuri? <laughs> do you have any... Do you have writing... Ex <laughs> God dang it. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable to share hers. Eh. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everybody's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we can all share them with each other. That way, everyone's even. Uh... Hmm... Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> Plus, now we have a new member. I think it'll help us all be a little more confident with our with each other and strengthen the bond of this club. Isn't that right, Earl? <laughs> Monica smiles warmly at me once again. <laughs> Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I, blunt I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um, I lost my train of thought. <gasps> look, they're all disappointed in me. Oh no, my girls, they're disappointed in me. They're angry, stop looking at me like that. The judgment in their eyes, it's too much for me. I can't take this kind of pressure. Also, Peps, you said you're tired of being sick, what? What happened? I'm sorry. I didn't know that you were sick, Garrett. Did you get COVID or something? I hope you didn't. Oof. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Relatable. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Oh no. <laughs> this feels like one of those judgment memes where it's just like a bunch of people at a party like looking at you and judging you. But, but, I'm sorry. I thought, Earl. Uh, you all. Uh, what? Did it just say you all? I could have just said y'all. Oh my gosh. Y'all is actually a really useful word. Okay. Y'all. I defend y'all to my dying breath. Y'all is such a good phrase. It, it's so much quicker than you all. You all. Y'all. So much easier. Uh, you think it's a cold? Oof. You got the. You got the sniffles? I'm sorry. Oi, peps. Get some soup. Get some soup. Uh, oh no, my girls. <laughs> we got some quotes going. 
I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make clear-headed decisions when it, when it, it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price that I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. <laughs> this is... I hate this protagonist. Uh, right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. <gasps> Sunny Sola! Oi! Oi, oi, Sunny! How are you doing? Hiya! Hi, hi! Oi! We're dating four girls. Oh, wait, no. We're, we're playing a dating simulator. Hello! Oh, Sunny! Also, Jess! Oi! Jess and Sunny? Popping in at the same time? It's too much! Too many cuties. Oi! Oi, oi! How are y'all doing? Uh, yes, I'm so happy. They're convincing me to join the literature club. I didn't want to join this club, but I got forced in here by Sayori. And then all of these girls won over the protagonist. Not me. I didn't have a chance. They haven't made, let me have one decision yet. <laughs> I think that this might be an on the rail shooter. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Uh, hey, hey. You really did scare, scare me for a moment. If you really came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so that we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Earl, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. How I express myself. <laughs> That's how I express myself. Earl gets all the girls. Leave some for the rest of us. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? How's this, how's this protagonist do this? Unbelievable. I don't get it. Uh, hmm. DDLC, very wholesome. Yes, Independent Oreo. Welcome in. Oi, oi, oi. Welcome to the Literature Club. I'm so glad to welcome you in. We're uh, we're just joining. We're just joining. You're invited as well. Oi, everybody, join this class. <laughs> uh, Earl, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Ehehe. <laughs> 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 how would a southern person say ehehe? <laughs> oh well, I'll tell you what. Ehehe. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Why do all anime girls say ehehe? <laughs> I don't understand it. It's not proper language. That's not a word. You can't just say eh heh heh and think that I get it. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Not likely. I can already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. <laughs> Hey, Earl, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed at after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. Doodly doo -de doo, doodly doo -de doo. The whole way, my, the, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. <laughs> Sayori. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Of course! How could I forget? Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Poem time. Writing sim- Oh, do I get to actually write something? It's time to write a poem. Pick your words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good will happen with whoever likes your poem the most. <gasps> it's time to make decisions. Oh, snap. Which character? Uh, what's your nickname in Cookie Run? I think it's Earl o Suds. Uh, I'm not sure. You could look up- You could look up our- Our guild is Squirrelies. Uh, my Cookie Run thing might be over on- 
It might be over on the Discord. You could double check there. But uh, yeah, if you do, if you don't find it in the cookie run thing, then you could. Uh, I'm just double checking really quick. You turn on my my BTS cookie run kingdom. Yeehaw! Yeah, which one? Which one's the best character? I basically am gonna pick which character I have to make the voice for the most. <laughs> but I need to pick one. I've got to pick one right now. What are y'all thinking? What do y'all think of these characters? We have Yuri, who is the kind of quiet, reserved sweeter girl that likes fantasy novels and then uh natsuki is the little is the little troublemaker the little the little gremlin oh tam tam thank you so much oh thank you thank you thank you for the sub hey, how are you doing tam tam oh my goodness oi 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 thank you so much how are you doing also nikki welcome in nikki rabbit Oi, oi, we're trying to date over here. Oi, oi, I need y'all's y'all's dating advice. Please help. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's just the Earl of Suds. Alex, it's the Earl of Suds. That's my nickname on, on Cookie Run Kingdom. I, I think my friends list might be full, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll message you or you can message me and I'll, I'll get you in our guild. I'll get you in our guild one way or another. Oh my God, wait. What the frick? Anne! What did you do? Anne? Anne? What did you send me on my Discord? Anne? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Hang on, everybody. We'll be we'll be right back. We'll be right back after these these commercials. Actually, no, I can't do this. Here, look, I'm in the void. I'm in my void really quick. I'm gonna switch. I gotta switch my hat, okay? Let me let me switch my hat really quick. Anne made something. Anne made something. And it's kind of amazing. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it right now. <laughs> Anne, why? Why would you do this? Okay, I'm gonna be able to fit into this club a lot better now. Okay, okay. Let me let me just make some adjustments. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Is it supposed to go like that? <laughs> this? This? <laughs> is it super kawaii? Do I have... Is it beautiful? <laughs> Anne, why would you do this? Why would you give me this? <laughs> Did I? They look, it looks so big. It looks humongous. Help. <laughs> it's very ooh-woo. Oh, very ooh-woo. Yes. Yes. I love it. Oh, bother. <laughs> I'm still invisible. These girls, they ain't loyal. Uh. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. Uh, you need to progress uh, further to join any guilds. Ooh. Just tell me, Alex, whenever you're whenever you're progressed. I probably have some friends that haven't played in forever. I could delete some. I'm doing good, Tam Tam. Thank you for asking. I'm trying to figure Oh yeah, we were going over the girls. So Yuri is the is the reserved one with the purple hair. And then uh, I think Natsuki is the it's the little angry one. Oof. It's not like I did that for you. Tee hee. Uh and then Sayori is the boring one. And then Monica is like out of my league. Out of my league. I, I don't know about Monica. Monica is too, is too much. Oh, no. Hey, Awkward. How are you doing? Hello. Hello, Awkward. I hope you're doing well. Hello. Monica isn't even an option. Oh, that's true. That's true. I can't even date Monica. So, I don't know. I, I don't love Sayori. Sayori is kind of boring. But Sayori is also forcing me to do stuff. I kind of like that. I will say... Sayori definitely pushes me outside of my comfort zone, and that's a good thing to have around. Um, I think Natsuki is the cutest one, but Yuri is really, really sweet. I think that I would get along with Yuri the best, probably. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm gonna go with, I think I'm gonna go with Yuri. I think I think Yuri might be my type the most. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, let's see. If you pick Yuri, then 
pick longer, more mature words. Ooh, like extraordinary. Extraordinary disaster. Maybe disoriented. Maybe uh, secretive. Oh, incongruent. It's in infallible. If she jumps, she likes it. Perfect. Uh, let's say passion. Bunny. <laughs> Bunny. Death. No! Why does Sayori love death? <laughs> Wait, Sayori loves death? No! Um, sticky. Misfortune. What? <laughs> that was complicated. Disarray. Okay, okay. E F. What is this? Effulgent? I've never heard of this in my life. Yuri likes it. <laughs> uh, vivacious? Uh, happiness landscape. Meager. Melancholy. Fickle. Melancholy. Perfect. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'll say a treasure. Entropy. Portrait universe. In incapable. Uh, oh dear. Uh, <laughs> let's say shame variance nice okay electricity electricity marshmallow a childhood jump valentine unrequited <laughs> no unrequited oh no prayer unrestrained <gasps> tenacious oh my gosh doki 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 let's say agonizing contamination Uncontrollable philosophy. <laughs> okay. We're going with Yuri. I think Yuri... Well, I don't know. Natsuki's pretty fun. But I think they'd be annoying in real life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hi again, Earl. Glad to see that you didn't run away on us. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me. But at least I keep my word. My word is bond. My word is bond. Uh, well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everybody else is hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Earl. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive head for first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. He deserves... <laughs> like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me that he didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too! I don't know if you plan to just come in here and hang out or what. But if you don't take this seriously, then you won't see the end of it. What? Won't see the end of it? Excuse me? You mean won't hear the end of it? Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Ma, ma. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself struck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops down in her seat. Yeah, see, I think that I am kind of like Natsuki. And that's probably why we wouldn't get along. We would, you won't see the end of it. Oh, no! <laughs> I, think that, I think that I am too much like Natsuki to be able to stay on them. I'm sorry, but you look like Yuri's companion cat because you kind of match. Oh, we match! Yay! Yay, yay, yay! Yes. Yuri is perfect for me. Uh, swiftly defeated, they plop back into their seat. Don't worry, guys. Earl always gives it his best, as long as he's having fun. Excuse me? Did they not make, did they not make like, non-gender dialogue for the protagonist? Hello? Missed opportunity? Excuse me? Uh, he helps with he helps with the busy work without me even asking. Wait, maybe it's an option. Nope. I don't see any option. It's kind of dumb. Uh, he helps me with busy work without even asking, like cooking, cleaning, <laughs> like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. <laughs> Sayori, that's because your room is so messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Earl can be good friends too. Um. 
Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she's put me into. <laughs> oh, hello! It's Bree! Oi, oi, oi! Bree! Welcome in! Oi, oi, oi! Welcome back to high school! How are you doing, Bree? Meow, meow! Look at me! I'm I'm in high school. I'm a high school girl dating other girls. Tee hee. <laughs> uh, you won't see the end of it. I still hate that line. I hate that Natsuki said that. They said you won't hear, you won't see the end of it. <laughs> Bree, we just joined the literature club. We joined the literature club and we wrote a poem and we're probably gonna present it. We wrote a poem and we're trying to get Yuri to like us because we match perfectly. We love new life experiences. Hooray! New life experience. Back to high school. <laughs> uh, oh, Yuri even brought something for you today, you know. Wait, Sayori. Eh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? <laughs> N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. <laughs> my character has a god complex. He feel My character feels like he thinks that he's the main character. You're doing good? Ready to donate some star strawberry jelly tomorrow? Oh! Donate some strawberry jelly. Ooh, you doing some blood donations? I actually am gonna do that too. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some more blood some more blood giving tomorrow. It gives it gives pretty good money. Got alert for a call? Hey, no worries. Good luck with the call. We'll see you when you get back, Linz. Uh hey, don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. Calm down, darling. You don't have to give me anything. Don't worry. I'm not expecting anything huge or anything. If you gave me so much as a smile, I'd be pleased. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So a nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. It's like a like an ear or something. It's like a finger that she chopped off of somebody. Okay, as long as as long as you're happy with anything. Is is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal out of it if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want it, you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, uh, discuss it if you wanted. This is, uh, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book that she thinks I'd like, despite not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Yoink! Whew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities at the club. Uh, yo, Bree! Thank you! Oi, 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 oi! Welcome back! Welcome back! Nine months! Oh! That's a Happy Twitch baby! Can we get some hype in the heart. chat? Twitch baby, Twitch baby. <gasps> what are we gonna name it? What are we gonna name it? Bree! Thank you so much. <laughs> Here's to another nine months. Oh, baby! Uh, vamp <laughs> You like Jimothy? How about you? What? Who's Jimothy? Jimothy? Uh, your university does a vampire drive right before the big outdoor movie night. Ooh! You donated blood a couple of days ago. Uh, it's the time for that, and but I don't get paid. Dang! Yeah, I'm not donating blood dye. It's not blood that they're taking. It's plasma. So, like, for anybody that doesn't know, plasma is just part of your blood. So they basically, like, stick a needle in you, pull a bunch of blood out, spin it around really fast, Slurp up all of the uh, plasma in it. That's like a kind of watery substance and then they put the blood back They put the blood back with um, saline so that you like so that your so that your blood doesn't like clot or anything But yeah, they just like take out part of the blood 
And then it's used to make, like, medications and stuff. It's used to make, quote-unquote, life-saving medications. And they they pay they pay you for it because it's it's actually really really valuable, and you have to donate at least twice. Oh, cute cat boy, that's me. I could be scary if you want me to be. Hey, welcome to our literature club. I hope you'll fit in. I hope you make it through the day. People in this club have a habit of disappearing. <laughs> because we throw them out the window. <laughs> One sub left. What happens when you reach 10? Will there be cupcakes? Of course there'll be cupcakes. <laughs> there'll be cupcakes and a minion cake. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, oh, stream baby Jimothy. Jimothy, the little stream baby. Baby. Uh, now that everyone's settled in, Monica's gonna kick off stuff, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Hmm, let's listen in. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense ex expression, like she's been waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet like an absolute goblin. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a bit more. Oh, to be clear, yeah, I think... I think I would, I would definitely be friends with all these girls. Definitely all these girls seem like they'd be pretty fun friends. Like, some of them like are a little energetic but you know what that's nice energy to have around i would i would be friends with all of them but i don't know maybe i would only date yuri <gasps> oh it's time to get a sip ah thank you very much for the sip i appreciate it gnome for doki doki win <laughs> yeah when do we get to date gnomes oh <gasps> <laughs> you offered to donate plasma when you gained enough weight to, but they bluntly said they'd prefer my blood. Yeah, actually, donating plasma, they give you more money the heavier you are. Uh, by three tiers, it's like under 150 is the lowest, between 150 and 175 is medium, and then 175 plus, these are pounds, mind you, uh, they give you more money. And I think, I think I'm above 175, so I think, I think I'm being paid the max. See, I was telling my roommates, if I was, like, slightly under it, I could just, like, I don't know, like, load up on carbs and get up to 175 so that they pay me more money. <laughs> they pay, like, $20 more. It's it's a lot. Uh, I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. Mm. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the, the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Uh, Yuri. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh my. Yuri. It couldn't be that you have feelings for me. No. No, no, surely it must be my imagination, but that way you're looking at me, it's just... I don't know. I feel like... Is there something between us? Besides all these desks? Also much from Cal. Oh, yo, 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 welcome in. It's the fungal female. Hello. Hello. I am a now dateable character in Doki Doki Literature Club. Oi, oi. Who's your favorite girl? Do you like Yuri? Natsuki? Uh, Sayori? Monica? Or Erlet? Uh, anyway, oh. I lost, I lost my train of thought for a second. Uh, crap. <laughs> I think she noticed me looking at her. Oh no! She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. Dot dot. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Uh, sorry. I, I was just spacing out. I muttered this sensing that I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it, it's fine. If, if I was focused, I probably wouldn't have noticed you in the first place. But I'm rereading this a bit, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Uh, not for any particular reason. Just, just curious. How do you have two copies of the same book? Uh... Well, I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. And, uh... Uh, that's, that's not what I meant. I mean, I I just happened to buy two of them. 
Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious about... <laughs> There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Uh, once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down because I put super glue on the cover and the back. It's very engaging and relatable story. It's about like a serial killer. <laughs> Is that so? Uh, what, what, what it about, what's it about anyway? I almost said what it about. <laughs> I should rewrite this script to be like, what it about? Book, book good, read fun. Me like read as well. Good booking, where did you get? Love to have book, but where getting from? <laughs> well, uh, hmm. Yuri closed the book and scans her eyes over the back. <laughs> The book is titled, Portrait of Merkov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. That's bleeding. All right. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about a girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, life gets really strange, like really wacky crazy. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experimental prison. And while her life is in danger, she tries desperately to choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts falling apart. <laughs> How is this relatable? Uh... <laughs> what it about? <laughs> it sound like something I would say. <laughs> we'll make the innocent Alex mod. Tee -hee. Some light reading there. I know, right? Really, really gets you... Really, it's a good book to read in the morning. Just just gets you ready for the day. Really puts a pep in your step. Puts wind under your wings. Uh, that's kind of... Uh, that's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, but that dark turn came out of nowhere. Just like this game. Oh, wait. Oh! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Earl? Uh, no, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems completely different. My character is dumb. I have found this to be very common. <laughs> Quieter people like darker stuff. That's true, that's true. Listen, Yuri's a real person. I've met somebody like this. I've met somebody like this. It's true. There's somebody like this at high school. Hehe. <laughs> I kind of had a crush on them. Um, oi, welcome in. How are you doing? Ooh, I do not know how to say your name. What's up? Is that Hick? Oi, oi. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm trying to date Yuri. Yuri is the one for me, I tell you. It's just that those kind of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you think you're related, <laughs> then suddenly when you thought you related to the protagonist, they may they they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. What the frick? This is so confusing. Why don't you try to say my name? I'm scared of your name. Wait. Wait a second. Is there a D's nuts joke in there? Let me see that. Let me see. That. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't. Th I didn't think so. Look like a D's nuts to me. I can see a D's nuts from like 10 million miles away now. See, I I I saw some friends, some some friendly streamers of uh that are friends with me. They they normally like pronounce. The first three letters of people's usernames. And that seems pretty smart, right? D's nuts. Got him. <laughs> Ban me. No. <laughs> Mushroom gal. We trust you. We like you. Mushroom gal. You can say whatever you want. Tee hee. Hey, Kenny. Do you know Joe? Joe mama. Got him. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Sorry. They're made out to be naive for letting the... She loves me. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not, not again. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. 
I like that. I'm into it. Keep blabbing. I haven't I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange like murder, kill, death. <laughs> it's okay, babe. We can both be Yandere's. Uh, they, they trust me. They trust me now. Perfect. <laughs> oh no! Mushroom girl, what are you doing? Oh no! My mushroom girl. They're wilting. <laughs> Kenny is going for the emo girlfriend. Of course I am. Of course I am. I like e-boys and e-girls. Teehee. <laughs> That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. <laughs> well, uh, the least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, uh, that's, well, that's true. Uh, excuse me. Uh, in fact, I might get started reading it, right? You, you don't have to. Ah, 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 ah. What are you saying? Yeah, Oi! Thank you, Kitty! Thank you so much! Aw! Thank you for the gifted sub! Ow, ow, ow. We reached our sub goal! Let's go! Can Tiki we get some hype? Thank y'all so much! What the frick? Oi! They have given Thank y'all so much! Everybody! We made the sub goal! We made the sub goal! Oi, oi, oi! And Thiggy Kitty gifted a sub to Innocent Alex. Aw! Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Innocent Alex, enjoy your emotes! I want to see those pim emotes. I want to see some hype emotes. Come on, spin those babies. Spin the baby. Hooray, spinning the baby. Cupcakes. <laughs> Aw, so sweet. Thiggy kitty, thank you. Uh, just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Um, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I put in my bed. Bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? In your lap? <laughs> I slid into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, y yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. Babe, why are you so tense? I'm just sitting next to you. <laughs> That's, I I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with somebody. Oi, look at y'all go! What the heck? Look at all this hype! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oi! Oi, 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 oi! Y'all are awesome. Y'all are so awesome. Oi, oi, oi! I appreciate y'all. Look at y'all go! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Look at y'all! Oh, incredible. Incredible! So proud of y'all. So proud of all these blinkies. Babe, that's, what's wrong? You haven't even touched your minion cake. I made a minion cake for you, Earl. You said that you really liked the minions too, the rise of Gru. So I baked you a cake that looks like your favorite minion. What was his name again? Well, anyway, I hope you enjoy it. It's minion flavored. And the icing is minion hair <laughs> flavored. <laughs> <laughs> nice three width pyramid, Brie Groovy. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about, means about reading and company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry, I, I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I, I do? I don't really mean to, sorry. <laughs> Oh, she did say sorry! I knew it! I knew she was gonna say sorry again. Sorry. Oi! Awkward, stop that! Not gonna be able to read anything. <laughs> oh my god. Awkward! You used to have the same problem? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's a sorry thing to 
have in your in your vocabulary. I'm sorry that it's like that for you. Uh, I'm just sorry that anybody would have to deal with that. It's, again, just a sorry state of affairs. It's a sorry thing to do, too. <laughs> Die, you ruined my pyramid. Good thing, too. Stop building those pyramids. Don't you know that only aliens are supposed to build pyramids? Shaking my head. Yuri is sounding more and more like me. Huh? Is that true? Wait a minute. Huh? Are you in this game? Thiggy Kitty, are you in this game? That's amazing. Oi, oi, oi. Maybe I am an alien. <laughs> You're alien to me, Bree. <laughs> Curse this mortal flesh prison. Oh my god. Y'all are more Yandere than, than this character here. <laughs> y'all are scary. I'm scared of y'all. Y'all all call your bodies flesh prisons. And you all ask for escape. But there is no escape. You said, uh, sorry for the pyramids. No, you're fine, Awkward. You're fine, you're fine. That's just why I mentioned it. <laughs> it was so many blankies. It was honestly beautiful. I did love to see it. Uh, sorry. Uh, I mean... Ah ha ha ha. <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slid my desk until it's next to Yuri's, then I hold my book between the two of us. Uh, that's very forward. This, this main character has a lot of confidence. I would never do anything like that. I suppose so. Yuri, Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once, once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right arm to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it a little difficult to turn the page. Oh golly, what am I gonna do? Here. Whoa! We're reading next to Yuri. Oh my God, it's a dream come true. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. So specific. <laughs> why, why do we care about what fingers? Ah, uh, I do the same with my right arm and right side of the book. Yeah, I can see it. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her, her thumb and flips it to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. I could feel her hot breath on the back of my neck. I could feel the heat from her just to the side of me. I could hear the rustle of her clothes as she squirms uncomfortably. I could feel the sweat beating on my face, dripping down onto the table, plink, plank, plonk. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, wait. Oh, eh? T turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted there for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer, dummy. Tee hee. <laughs> You're probably too stupid to read quickly me, like me. <laughs> quickly me. <laughs> it's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. Actually, that's a pretty good deal. We wouldn't want similar reading speeds, would we? We continue the first chapter in silence, not saying a goddamn word. It's awkward as heck, but I keep turning these pages like it's gonna change something. Even so, turning each page feels like a intimate exchange. <laughs> An intimate exchange? They're just reading! My thumb, gently letting go of the page. <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. Can I please, like, have a drink of water? <laughs> this is too much. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. <laughs> Oh. 
Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, I can do this. Uh, your character is a bit of a creep. I think so. I think so. I've thought that a few times, Dai. It's kind of frightening. I really don't like my character, but I haven't been given a single choice in this game except for the poetry. This is not a real dating sim, unfortunately. I would choose to not be creepy, but this character, his mind is disgusting. I would not want to look in there. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Oh, nothing hotter than thumbs, am I right? Woo! Have y'all ever seen Spy Kids 1? Woo! Those thumb thumbs, they drive me wild. Just five thumbs. Can you imagine such a thing? Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds you of you a little bit. You think so? Uh, how does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she always second guesses all the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid that she'll do something wrong. Wow, what the- <laughs> what a call out. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I just met this person! I- I see. Yuri remained silent for a moment. Did we both get up? But, Earl, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. That's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait! I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I, I didn't know that you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Uh, I, I guess I m more meant that it's kind of cute. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone. <laughs> I think it's about time that we shared today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh... Yuri exhales. <laughs> spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? <laughs> you look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's, it's not, it's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Ow! Ow! My thumb! All right. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Oh! Um, I guess I don't have much of a preference either way. Hmm. <laughs> Who says hmm out loud like this? In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. Okay, nice. It'll be more fun to read with you whenever it picks up a little bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right. I stand up. I get up. I make a mental note where I left off in the book, and I slip it back into my baggie. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. <laughs> I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. So is this like a Mad Lib? Did we make a Mad Lib? I couldn't really find much inspiration, since I'd never really done this before. Uh, well, now that everybody's ready, why don't you find somebody to share with? I can't wait. <laughs> Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a com composition notebook. Wow, they have such different personalities. <laughs> I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Uh, who should I show my poem to first? What? Why is this a choice? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're gonna show our poem. I guess we'll show it to Yuri first. I feel like, what, what do y'all think? Is that is that gonna like improve our relationship? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe it's better to show it to other people and leave Yuri for last? Up uh, or first? Not sure. Um, 
guess I'll, I'll show it to Sayori first. <coughs> I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. You're gonna lurk? Hey, thank you for the lurk. Awkward. Oi, oi. Good luck with what you're doing. Whenever you check back in, I'll be dating one of these girls full time. She's my good friend after all. Die is an amazing mod. It's true. All my mods are great. Oi, oi. All my mods are lovely human beings. Meow, meow. Uh, hee <laughs> hee. This is a good poem, Earl. Are you sure it's your first time? Uh, of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy that would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me how you're really part of the club now. Tee hee! <laughs> this Scott! How are you doing? Oi, 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 oi! The coolest cat around! No you! No you, Scott. Oi, oi! Scott! How are you doing? Oi, oi, oi! You got some cat stickers to design? Ooh! Have fun. Have fun, awkward. Good luck, good luck. You're good? I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. I'm trying to date these girls, you see. I joined a literature club. And all these girls, they're asking me to write poems. I wrote a, I already wrote a beautiful poem. But it isn't for Sayori. It isn't. It isn't. We had to pick one. We're picking Yuri. Yuri is a, it's a very quiet type. Very quiet type. Likes to read. This one is my childhood friend, Sayori. Also, not to mention, Natsuki. The little troublesome goblin. The little goblin child that probably eats too much candy and reads manga. And then Monica. The leader of the club, who's also like pretty much a pres like a president of the school. Okay, she's like, she's she's got a beautiful southern drawl, and she's she's instantly charming. So many options. Who would you pick, Scott? Be honest. <laughs> uh, not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See. It's like I said before, Earl. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? That's not true. <laughs> Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. I don't know about that. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori seems the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason that I joined this character. <laughs> you know what? I have to admit, I've been in a situation like this before. I did, I joined singing class just so that I could hang out with the girl that I liked, but it wasn't, it wasn't just because I was like, ooh, I want to be in a class with cute girls. It was like, I want to be with one. Yo, Dash, what the frick? <laughs> Dash, yo, my dude, my dude. Thank you so much for the raid. What the frick? Oh my god, I'm embarrassed I got my hair on and everything. Yo, Dash, how have you been doing? How have you been doing since you got back? Oi, I have this great picture of me and Dash, and I've got my cat ears on. It's hilarious. I don't know why I wore them that, <laughs> that night. <laughs> I guess it's because I brought them, and I couldn't help it. But yes, I got to meet Dash recently. Y'all should all go, y'all should all go over there. Go over there, go over there. Big shouts out to Dash. They play lots of retro games. They're actually good at games. And they play lots of, yeah, I lots of retro old. games, some speed goes, runs of Final Fantasy. It's true, it's true. Dash is super freaking cool. I love Dash. Oi, oi. Like I said, we got to we got to hang out a fair bit. It's true. Also, Kareem, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the tier three. Oh my God. Oi, Kareem, it's good to see you. Dash, Dash, my dude. How have you been doing? How have you recovered? Did you recover from your flight and everything? And yeah, hi Raiders. My name's Earl. I'm a I'm a human being, guaranteed. I I just have this uh, this VTuber that I've been using recently, and it's been fun. We're uh, we're playing uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. It's going great. We we <laughs> I promised to do this for a charity stream. I think that we reached three hundred dollars donated, and I had to play this game. So here we are. Here we are. They forced me to do it. Uh, it is 
I gotta say, the main character in this game is big time cringe. But yeah, Dash, if you need to go get some food or get some water, take care of yourself, my friend. I, I super duper appreciate it. Hey! Not in front of Dash! Don't, don't furry alert me. How dare you? How dare you? Oi, oi! Yeah, Dash is super cool and likes metal. Just like me. We were both... <laughs> there was a time when we were both sitting next to each other at a karaoke bar, and there was all this music that they kept playing. Like, a new song would come on, and I would just look at Dash and be like, do you know what this song is? And Dash is just like, nope. <laughs> no idea what this is. And I'm like, why don't we know any of these songs? <laughs> why don't we know all this culture? <laughs> who, who are these people? <laughs> who wrote all this music? Who is this music for? Uh, oi! What's up, Gow? How are you doing? Thank you for the Minecraft eat. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, okay, we're gonna continue a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna continue along. I wrote a poem for for literature club, and uh, I've met everybody. It's true. Indeed, I'd never heard wet butt Kenny. What? <laughs> God. God. Why? Why would you say it like that, Dash? That's disgusting. Wet butt, wet butt, Kenny. <laughs> is, that, is that WAP? Are you talking about WAP? Wet butt, Kenny. <laughs> That'd be whoop, whoop. Is that how to pronounce it? <laughs> God, you'd literally never heard that, Dash. I've actually heard that before. <laughs> okay, I I have heard I've heard that song before. <laughs> I was telling them, I was telling Opes, I wish that I'd gotten to that karaoke place, like, earlier, because you definitely could have convinced me to sing. Like, you specifically, Dash. If you'd been like, come on, man, come up here, and just, like, pulled on my arm, then I'd be like, oh, no! <laughs> and then I would have sang, guaranteed. But I, but I got there late. Got there late. Gosh darn it. Never caught up. Was never ready to sing. But it's true. Well, we'll have to go back sometime. We'll have to go back and hang out more. Also, you can teach me how to actually play games. Tee hee. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, I think I'm ready. Can we get one more shout out for Dash, please? Can we get one more shout out? Dash is just super duper cool, and I loved hanging out with them. And y'all should definitely go give them, go give them a follow, give them some love. Oi. Okay, we're gonna, we, we continue, we continue. I can't deny that that's part of the reason that I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. <laughs> also, do you notice this hair? <laughs> this hair was drawn today. I did not have this before I started the stream, but uh, Anne decided to, to cook this up for me. <laughs> and it looks amazing. Uh, and I'm gonna make sure that you have lots of fun here, okay? This That will be my way of thanking you. All right. I'm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! <laughs> now, you'll read my poem, right? You'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, aww! This is her poem. I wanted to read! Dang it! Should I have picked Yuri? Oh no, what have I done? Aww, thank you for the head pat! Uh... Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub my sleep, <laughs> rub the sleepy from my eyes. This doesn't rhyme. This isn't a poem. Wait, I thought the poems were supposed to rhyme. Dear Sunshine, <laughs> are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you, too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> that ends abruptly. Oh, wait. No, there's more. Oh, there we continue. That was beautiful. Sayori, this is just a guess, but... Did you wait until the morning to write this? No. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. <laughs> this character's a scumbag. I mean, my character. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, yeah. I 
didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. I hope you ran to school with the toast in your mouth. Uh, even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. <laughs> I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> <laughs> this was this was so much fun. Monica is the best. Ah, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. <laughs> well, I guess I look forward to it. Okay, let's. Uh, who should I show it to next? I guess. Should I save Yuri for last? I I still don't get how this works. So I'm showing my own poem to people. Yeah, I'll save it for Yuri last. We'll show it to Natsuki. I wonder what her poem is. It's probably really goofy. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, let me just pause awkwardly because I'm supposed to be reading these lines, but this is an awkward pause. Well, are you going to say something? Natsuki. Why are you looking at me like that? What? What do you want from me? <laughs> Didn't Dash use a pull Tia's laugh every time Sayori went, eh -heh -heh? Oh, what? <laughs> Dash played this game? Oh, my God. I didn't know that. Is there a VOD? Please tell me that there's a, a VOD. Please, please. Is that, is that Glassikino? Glassikino? Oh my gosh, I want to see that. I want to see that so bad. The tsundere face. It's not like I want you to talk to me or anything. <laughs> God. I'm giving, I'm trying to give them all different voices, but it's really hard to do. She's so annoying. Her her voice that I've given her is so annoying, and I feel like it actually hurts people's ears. Earl, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? You're still proud of the first poem that you ever wrote. If you're if you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <laughs> Painful to think about. <laughs> Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'd tell you what to do to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Uh, fair, fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Oh! Shiny. <laughs> Shiny, you scared me. Don't be making noises like that. I thought that the horror part of the game already started. Oi, Shiny, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oi. Shiny, what have you been up to? He did, but first finish your playthrough. Oh, yes, I have to do the playthrough first. I have never seen anybody play through this game before. I do not have spoilers, except for I know that it like, I know that it that it's a horror game. I know that, but that's literally it. I haven't seen any gameplay. I don't know any spoilers. And I've kept it like that. Also, Bluebird, yo, thank you for the follow. Welcome back. Hi, I'm back. Why are you so mad? Bluebird, what did you do? What did I do? What happened? Oi! Bluebird, welcome back. Look at me. I'm 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 in the schoolroom. Nothing. What? Are you being sun that out with me? <laughs> Bluebird, it's good to see you. I'm not here. I'm sleeping. Ah, oh, I see. Sleepy. Ha! Ah! <laughs> this is very frightening sleeping. Is that you snoring? Wait a second. I have a snoring sound. That's the sound that I make whenever I sleep. <laughs> That's all that I can hear. From each room in the house. Just snoring. Just everyone snoring at the same time. You feel this horror part of the game showing your... Po <laughs> I feel that this is the horror part of the game showing your poetry to others for critique. <laughs> the horror would be the appearance of a Yandere character. Oh, a Yandere character. No need for the game to provide one when there's one right here. Who's my favorite character so far? I like Yuri. Actually, no, we're date. We're gonna try to date Yuri. I'm gonna give Yuri the most attention because I think that we're compatible. But I like them all. They're all pretty good. They're all pretty good characters. 
I like this annoying little goblin character. I like, uh, Monica seems like a really, real stand-up, real stand-up homie. I'd totally be friends with Monica. And then, uh, Sayori's like a friend that you can't get rid of, but they, they, they still add to the vibes. I think that they all add something to the vibe. I like them. But yeah, Yuri, Yuri's probably the character that I'd want to date, I would say. Uh, well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I gotta go share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Huh, oh boy. Natsuki says, Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Hey, I actually like that. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. So monkeys climb, crickets leap, horses race, Owls can seek. That's kind of interesting. Cheetahs can run. Oh, I like the music. This must be Natsuki's theme or something. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Dang. That's so deep, homie. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just, just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point for poems for... But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you doing great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Basically saying how humans can try, but they'll never be as good as animals. Got him! See, that's why I'm half cat. Also, Philantha Wiz, what's up? Oi, oi, welcome in. How are you doing? Welcome back to high school. I hope that you brought your pencil and paper. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more of the weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling of the last line. So you did. Clever girl. <laughs> I guess more went into it than I realized. That's <laughs> that's what it means to be a pro. Oh, she's got a tooth! Yo, oh, she's got a tooth! Oh snap! See, I just want to be this character. I want to be Natsuki. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to date Natsuki. I want to be Natsuki. That's the thing. Tooth! We got a tooth alert. Yeah. Yeah. I would pick to be Natsuki, and I would probably want to date Yuri. I'd be too intimidated by Monica. And uh, I would probably legitimately be annoyed by Sayori. Like, I would still hang out with them, but all of my childhood friends are, are kind of annoying. She's gonna take your plasma. What? She's gonna take my red blood cells. <laughs> I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everybody is. Um. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take it away from her. Uh, let's show it to Monica next. Monica, our southern belle. Hi, Earl. Having a good time so far? Ah, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have a suggestion for the club, like new activities or things that we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up things, okay? Yeah, all right, well, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ahahaha. <laughs> what is that? Ahahaha. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Why don't you speak plain English for once in your life and not say ah ha ha all the time? <laughs> Jedi, what's up? Oi, oi, oi! Jedi! 
<laughs> that's such a that's such a more aggressive form of it. Jedi! Happy birthday! Happy late birthday! I already wished it to you on Discord, but I wish it again. Let me wish you a happy birthday once again. Oi oi! Ah ha ha! Don't worry, Earl. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. <clears throat> We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But that's sort of the barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mmm. <laughs> Great job, Earl. I was going, I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect for you to go to. <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused. I want to read my poem. I'm so weirded out by them describing it. I want to read it. I wrote it, but I didn't get to see what it looked like. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect for someone so for you to go somewhere. Oh my God! Yo, the Elder Iris. Thank you for the thank you for the raid. Oi oi! Welcome to the classroom. Hey, Raiders! Welcome back to high school. Everything's going. Everything's totally normal here. Oi! How is Elden Ring? Thank you for the raid. Oh my goodness! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Me, Alyssa. Welcome in. It's nice to see y'all. Hi, everybody. My name's Earl. I play a variety of games. I'm a VTuber catboy. Hello. Meow meow. Oi! We're playing a very scary game. Oh dear. Who knows this, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Anything could happen. This is a classroom full of maniacs. <laughs> You're so close to shouting out Earl of Suds. You can actually use, um, you can use slash shout out if you wanna try that. You can use slash shout out and it works a little bit differently. It makes it easier for people to follow them. Elder Irish, how is the, how is the Elden Ring? How far are you into it? I have not been that game yet, but I beat a few bosses. Uh, it's going fantastic. We're playing a super wholesome waifu simulator. Everything's going completely well. Doki Doki waifu simulator. <laughs> who's your favorite? Who's your favorite girl? He only died 24 times. Let's go around. Okay. Now I'm not gonna hear any freaking slander against the elder Irish. I literally, I died like 200 times on one boss. Okay. So that that game is ridiculously hard. Okay. Yeah, it was the the first like main boss. Oh my gracious. You don't think it's made it to mobile? Ah, oh, I see. It shows up on my screen, but yeah, I'm not on mobile. Well, we can we can keep doing the the normal shout out. Me Alyssa recommended you. It was good. Not sure. I'm struggling through it. Ah, oh, I feel you. I feel you. That game is so so hard. I have not beaten it. Uh, I spent 3 hours on one boss. Yeah, the thing about Elden Ring that I didn't love is that I always felt like I could just leave a room. I could like just leave a boss behind and just like go grind and get more powerful. Like that's the, that's, that was a struggle is that I was like, I could just leave and grind and get more powerful or I could face this boss right now and just get it over with. And I always chose to face the boss even though I didn't have like the weapons for it. I don't know. In the other Souls games, they feel a little more linear. So I guess Elden Ring is only if you want to like, I guess, relax and look around and yeah, harvest giants. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I didn't do. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the follow. Elder Irish. I so appreciate you checking out my stream, saying hi. It's super, super nice of you. But yeah, if I know that you just streamed and you streamed a very stressful game. If you want to get some uh, like food or water, please take care of yourself. Oh my goodness. Please do. Please do. Uh, you sure you like Elden Ring? Yeah, yeah, Anne plays a lot of Elden Ring. Anne's kind of cracked. Anne's kind of goaded with the sauce. I've been playing, um, I've been playing the first Dark Souls, and I've been enjoying that a lot. Uh, I, I did get stuck at a certain part. Maybe, maybe I'll get past that part tonight. It's really annoying. It's like huge archers that are up on a wall, and the, and it's got like the tiniest little ledge that you can walk on, and you have to defeat them somehow? Ugh, I, I do not know how to do it. It is frustrating. Ah, thanks man, love to support my fellow streamers. Hell yeah, super appreciate it. Dang. Uh, but yes, we're, we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club, a totally normal dating simulator that absolutely is not gonna take a turn for the worst. Uh, we got Monica. Monica is like the class president is the fancy, like, perfect girl. 
And then there's Natsuki, who's a little troublesome goblin who loves manga uh, and likes yelling. And then there is Yuri, who's very quiet and sweet and likes to read really deep books. And then lastly, Sayori is our childhood friend. Whoever shall we pick? Oh my, oh my. The choices. I guess I underestimated you. Oh yeah, and I'm showing off my poem to the class right now. We all wrote poems, so I'm getting to read their poems and, and they're judging mine. And wholesome, right? You promised wholesome, of course. <laughs> You're gonna have to Google this because you've never seen this game. Linz, it's literally playing right now. That's like if you were sitting in the dentist office and you knew that you had to wait for like a few hours and there was like Finding Nemo was on the t television and then you, while sitting in that room, Google the ending to it. You need to, I'm playing it right now, Linz. Linz, I'm playing it right now. I understand looking up things that you're never gonna know the ending of, but it's literally before you. This moment, I'm, oh my God. <laughs> Shaking my head. If you wanna ruin it for yourself, then go ahead. <laughs> also, Keith, thank you for the follow. Nice to meet you. Uh, it's easier, to, uh, no wait. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Aha, uh -huh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it, <laughs> well, I guess it worked anyway. You know, you know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words uh, to describe happiness and sadness. <laughs> Yuri likes it when the readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Uh, both allowing people to get something out of it uh, just by feel. Oh my gosh, you have so much to say, Monica. Could you <laughs> shut up? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry for not being mean. Uh, for being mean. <laughs> Pete Irish, hey, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to meet all y'all. Y'all are so sweet. Boy, I think we're gonna be, ooh. But yeah, like I said, I'm a variety streamer, so we're gonna be playing, we gotta play more of the Mortuary Assistant. I, I think I know how to do some of the endings, but we're gonna get all the endings for Mortuary Assistant. And I think, I think I might be playing Fortnite with Human One tonight. I don't, I don't know when that's gonna be, but I'll, I'll shout it out on our Discord. KFC dating sim is better. You'd rather learn about fried chicken than literature. <laughs> I've already played the KFC dating sim and I loved it. Mortuary assistant, assistant is awesome to watch. I love it. I'm, I'm honestly loving it. I'm looking forward to seeing all the endings. I, I like the, uh, I like the fact that it's a pretty interesting sim. It's like an interesting medical sim and then it, they mix in like little jump scares in it. It's pretty fun, and it's the storytelling is really good. I was kind of shocked how well it was done. Um, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which is why I'm assuming Yuri has it at this point. Uh, I never really ask, though. I'm sure I'm I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Of what writing? I literally just wrote like one poem. <laughs> You should play How to Full Boyfriend. I don't want to play no pigeon simulator. <laughs> For anybody that doesn't know, How to Full Boyfriend is like where every character in the school is a pigeon. They're all birds and you're dating birds. Lord of what chapter are we on? An idiot in a costume. You're finally here. Oh, bother. That makes two idiots in a costume. So wonderful to meet you. Oh, bother. Which girl will I pick? It's always the struggle. There's a classroom full of girls, and I'm the only one with my makeup messed up. Ooh. Uh, wait. Wasn't that cost? Wasn't that cartoon called? Oh my gosh, Good Feathers? No, 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 no. It's had a full boyfriend. KFC one is dumb. Excuse me. I will never forgive you for saying that, Jedi. What chapter? We're like at the beginning. We're we're showing off our our poems. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learning by trying new things. I'm sure you'll end up trying different... <laughs> I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. Like my lips. 
you could try them on for size. <laughs> That's the best way to find out the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'd always help you f <laughs> but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way that everyone else wants you to write. It's <laughs> this is literally a dating sim. I am 100% going to write for other people. Ah uh, yes, poems. How do I rhyme? No more rhymes than I mean it. Try out the lips too. <laughs> Try out the lips too soon and that you might be trying out the autumn leaves instead. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to die not yet not yet not till I get to date these girls for a few more seconds uh, It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything ah, 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 ah. Anyway, do you want to try reading my poem now? Don't worry. I'm not very good You sound pretty confident for someone cla who claims not to be very good Well, that's cuz I have to sound confident that doesn't mean that I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. <laughs> let's see this. Oh, it's got a scroll wheel. <laughs> this one's a long one. This is my poem. It's called Hole in a Wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction that the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. <laughs> My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Girl, what the heck does this mean? <laughs> hole in the wall. So, she looks at a hole in the wall. And there's a guy on the other side. <laughs> Alright, Monica, this really is something. You should be proud of yourself. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. S uh, sorry, I wasn't really the right person to ask for feedback. Aha, that's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. Oh, really? Says who? Authenticata, how are you doing? Oy, 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 oy. But Monica, I want to impress the other women here, because there aren't any men. Mmm, buy with a male pref preference pain. <laughs> yes, I'm coming from the direction of pure panic. So, I mean, I'm perfectly fine dating girls. But, uh, yeah, boys too. I like to keep it even. That's, that's my style. My style is perfectly even. I think I'm a little behind on the girls department, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because I've dated... I dated girl, guy, guy. Yeah. Now, now, if I dated somebody else, it'd have to be a girl. We gotta keep it even. <laughs> uh, just kidding, of course. And Cian, welcome in! Oi, oi, so good to be seeing you. Hello. Uh, yeah, that kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the time in between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Really? What was the what was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a little bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other, then I can expose my darker side, and then I can drag you all down to the basement. Oh wait, no, Monica might be nice, I'm not sure. <clears throat> you don't la date for love, you date for an even tally. <laughs> yes, yes, Linz, you understand me. Also, it's a great day to be gay. Loving that name still. Uh, what day am I on? Day one, how, how many days are in this game, seven? Seven days to die. Seven days to literature. Anyway, 
Here's Monica's write in tip of the day. No, I'm on day two. I'm on day two because we wrote the poems. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. Seven days to get lit. Oh, baby. Seven days to die. Chocolate! Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> I still don't know how to read these little tildes. Thanks for listening. <clears throat> Who should I show my poem to next? I can't imagine. Who should I? Who should I tell next? Maybe Yuri. I sure hope she likes my poem. Oh, wait. I'm hilarious. Oh, my gosh. Elder Irish. You're so sweet. What the heck? It's nice to meet you. You're off to bed. Yeah, get some good rest. Oi, oi, oi. Get some good rest. Thank you so much for the raid. I so appreciate you trusting me with your peeps and, try and trying out my stream. I super appreciate it. Oi, Elder Irish. Bye. Bye. Get some good sleep. Thanks again. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon. You have an addiction for this game's soundtrack. It's really good. Really good backing tracks. I haven't been bothered by it for like a second. It's just like kind of chilling in the back. Oh boy, I hope Yuri likes my poem. Oh boy, hey Yuri, I wrote your poem. What do you think, babe? Oh wait, I'm oh, sorry. Is that too quick? Am I am I taking things too quickly? <clears throat> As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten, like like they get lighter, like they float. <laughs> like what does that mean? Maybe if I become better, f <laughs> maybe if we become better friends. Ma'am, I vent deeply to people that I've only known for a day. And you want to be deeper friends? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Especially the last song. Ooh. Oh, snap. Are we going blind? Yes, I. we're going in blind. I've never seen this before. And also, me and Yuri kind of match. We make a cute couple. Little tiny cat boy. Actually, wait a second. Maybe I could be like really tiny. I want to be a tiny, Where, where's the thing? Yeah, there it is. Me and my girlfriend. <laughs> my girlfriend's taller than me, but we get along real good. <laughs> me and my big girlfriend. She's really big. Golly, golly, you're beautiful. Wee. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm normal sized again. She's not that big. Nice, nice. Okay, as Yuri reads the poem, poem I notice her eyes lighten. E exceptional. Eh? What was that? Uh, did did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, oh. <laughs> but then she ends up covering her whole face. Uh, I, uh. He's gonna hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh, that's, I, I, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> no, she did laugh. Okay, I'm, I'm anticipating this game's script. Yuri takes a breath. <laughs> so, what kind of writing experience do you have? You used imagery and metaphors, indicating you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, but then looks at my poem again. You're lying to me, aren't you? You're, you're a professional writer, aren't you? I can't believe that you would lie to me right to my face, in front of the others. I I'm so embarrassed. <coughs> well... I, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words of the poem, as if breaking them down more thoroughly. Then she leans over and starts licking the page. She says that my words are so delicious that she can't help but to consume them all. She's eaten the entire page before I can look away. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are typical of new writers. 
and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I, I think the most noticeable thing that I recognize in new writers is that they try to- Hey! Don't bug me, I'm reading! <laughs> Lupus! Hey! Also, hi Lupus. Lupus, listen here, you dummy. Don't you bonk me on the head. <laughs> oi, oi. Hi, hi. Lupus, how was your stream? I saw you streaming. What were you playing? What were you playing? I think you are playing Stray. How was the Stray? How was the Stray Cat? Stray Cat agenda. I think the most noticeable thing that I've noticed is that they try to make their styles really deliberate. In other words, they try to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. An expert in love! Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Yeah, you gave me the most feedback. Let me tell you what, Yuri. These other people, they don't know anything about writing. I'm so happy that you're here because none of these clowns, they didn't appreciate my writing at all. They didn't give me any good feedback. Yuri, if writing Wattpad and something fanfiction counts as a professional, then I'm a professional. Dang. I can't believe it. Is that true? You may or may not have an upgrade of the PS plan. Got like five games for free. Stray was one of them. Oh, snap. You got the, what is it called? Like PS premium or something. I have a PS plus. I don't have any. Hey, yo, Luke. Got... Thank you, Jedi, for gifting a sub to Lupus. Hi. Can we get some hype in the chat? Let's go, Jedi. So generous. Oi, 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 oi. gift subs in the chat. Jedi causing chaos. Oi, oi, Lupus, enjoy your emotes. Thank you, Jedi. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I hope that everyone else gave you feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um. Well, I like this expression. Never mind. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking about other people like that. No! Sis, bring the tea! Please, bring more tea! Can we talk trash on Natsuki behind their face? <laughs> yes! Come on, come on, don't be- Hey! Listen, I'm allowed to gossip with my girlfriends. Uh, PS Plus Express. <laughs> Is that true? Mmm, tea. Uh, sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if- uh, uh, Do you mind if I read your poem now? Uh, please do. Oh, that's a cute expression! Oh, she's cute! Look at her eyes! She's so bashful! I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her. <laughs> One could say that Stray is a very meowsmerizing game. That's... meowsmerizing. Good lord. After all, after all, isn't this... Wait, after all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh boy. Oh baby. I'm gonna have to learn how to read cursive real quick. Ghosts under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate under the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight, to have withstood the test of time, and last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathe air of the past, uh, breathe, breathe air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. Bro, what does this mean? Ghost under the light. So there are ghosts. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing. Yeah, bathing. It must be this one. Withstood the test of time. Sickening gr green glow. Whatever. Not. I'm sorry, Yuri. This doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry to have such terrible handwriting. Oh my God, you shut your mouth. Your handwriting's amazing. <laughs> You're gonna make me feel so bad. My handwriting looks like a chicken just like dipped its little toes in ink and then it started scratching on the page. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you so long to read. Uh-uh. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Kawaii desu ne? Ah, kawaii desho. <laughs> eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually, I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm, I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since this is our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. No, girl. Go go ham. Go ham. Go crazy. Hey, who did that? Lupus, why are you bonking me on the head so much? I see how it is. I give Lupus head pats and then you bonk me on the head. Shaking my head. Unbelievable. Lupus, you better watch it. Next time I'm over at your stream, I might just stop with the head pats. Maybe I'll look for a bonk of my own. Just saying, turnabout's fair play. <laughs> uh, are you into ghosts, Yuri? What kind of question is that? Are you into ghosts? Yeah, is that like, is that a hobby of yours? Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Why'd she say hoo-hoo to me? Also, Alyssa! Meow. Boop. Hoo-hoo. Actually, this story isn't about a ghost at all, Earl. Oh, hooray! Hooray! I scared Lupus into petting my head. Meow, meow. Thank you. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. See, this is not my fault, dude. This game doesn't even give me a choice. I, I wanna, I would, I would like to guess what this means. But instead, this game is just like, it's forcing me along this path. I want choices, man. But remember that poems often, poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences from their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Girl, you wrote this! You can tell me what it means! You wrote it. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. That's relatable and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more so that's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so nah. <laughs> if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Hey, you think so? Yeah, of course. <laughs> As much fun as the sin is, I gotta go. Hey, no worries. Alyssa, thanks for hanging out. Oi, 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 oi. Don't worry. We'll be done with this game soon enough. <laughs> we'll see you later, Alyssa. Thanks for chilling. And, oh, and also thank you for suggesting that raid. I really appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm. Anywho. Ah, uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all of this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Earl. Oh, you don't have to. You don't have to do your best for me. Do it, do it for you, girl. Don't, don't, don't think of me while you're writing everything. It's not like I want you to write your poems all for me. <laughs> oh, Ripsy, Ripsy! <laughs> oi, oi, Ripsy, how are you doing? Do I look cute? Look at my, look at my bows. Look at, look at my, look at my big bow. My big bow and hair. <laughs> Aren't I beautiful? Uh, let me see. I'll keep doing my best for you, Earl. Ah, uh, me too. I'll keep doing my best for me. Come on, Earl. Shaking my head. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, friends! Don't cry! Ripsy! Oi, oi! Everybody, can we get some little hearties? Can we give hearties for Ripsy? Ripsy has tears in their eyes. Please wipe them away with hearts. 
Awa, awa. Uh, Earl is the ultimate Doki Doki club member. <laughs> got the best bow. I've got the biggest bow. Listen, that's that's how you're supposed to fight. That's that's how you decide supremacy. Whoever has the biggest bow is the leader. That's what I always say. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way that my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. <laughs> I guess that's why... I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each other's expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles, <laughs> smiles sadly. <laughs> what is up with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem. Uh, dis dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did I complete? <laughs> Did I completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about fe the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? <laughs> You mean you have to try <laughs> You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I didn't <laughs> Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Oh no! Oh no! They're fighting! This class is gonna fall apart. Um Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Oh my god, I've made a mistake. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I don't know how I feel about Yuri. I don't know. She's just offering opinions, unsolicited opinions about their work. Well, I guess they are critiquing. Cat fight, cat fight. Hey, Woo! oh, how dare you? Don't scare me like that. Also, Torrance, how are you doing? Welcome in. Oi, 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 oi. I'm doing a blind playthrough of Doki Doki. Hey, Doki Doki Literature Club, finally. Uh, Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked somebody who actually actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Earl did too. So based on that, I'm I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. Oh my gosh, these are both awful characters. <laughs> First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly interesting, which I haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> and Earl liked my poem too, you know. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No, don't both say that. No, 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 don't put me in the middle of this. Don't bring me into this. He even told me that he was impressed by it. No, stop! Y'all shut y'all's mouths. Fight, fight, fight. No! Shempai, welcome in! <laughs> How are you doing? I don't like this! There's tension in the classroom. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize that you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's... that's not what I... Uh... You're... you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're jealous that Earl appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know that he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. I... If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh! <laughs> um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? <laughs> If I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Earl started showing up... Natsuki! <laughs> uh, um, Natsuki, that's a little, uh... This doesn't involve you! <laughs> I don't like it when you fight, guys! <laughs> Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as they both noticed I was standing there. Earl! She's, she's just trying to make me look bad. 
That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate the simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to me. <laughs> Help me explain that to her, Earl. Oh, wait. There's a reason that I have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and the meanings most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Earl? Um... Well... Uh... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Oh no! I'm sandwiched and I don't even know it. Help! <laughs> Punches will be thrown and hair will be pulled. No! No fighting! It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh no! I don't want to pick anybody. I don't want to. I, 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 listen, I don't know if I have a chance with either one of these characters here. I'm scared. I'm scared. What? What if I? What if I ruin everything? Help me, Sayori! <laughs> help. This is what I would do in real life. I'd be like, help! I'm supposed to pick Yuri. Because I kind of want to date Yuri. But then again, she's kind of being a little snob. She kind of ended up being a snob. And I gotta say, I'm kind of on Natsuki's side a little bit. Where I'm just like, eh. I don't know about using, like, overly convoluted language. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I know I wanted choices, but I want more, less meaningful choices. I don't want choices that are very obviously choosing the path of the game. I like games that have choices that you don't realize how they're gonna pan out. That's, that's more interesting. This game is more like, literally pick a path, but, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't know, Yuri's kind of being a snob about things. Natsuki seems to be, hmm. I don't know. Natsuki's too annoying, though. Hmm. hmm. They don't pay you the big bucks for nothing. <laughs> the big bucks, huh? <laughs> oh. If only. <laughs> Let's go with Yuri. Uh, Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri, Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mmm. I understand. Yuri. Huh? You're, serious, you're a seriously talented writer. But you're kind of a real dummy as well. You're kind of a real pinhead Larry. You're a real dirty Dan when it comes to constructive criticism. You've got to learn to be nicer. It's no secret that I'm that I was impressed. Well, that's that's. But here's the thing: no matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, oh my God! What the frick? Yo, Warwick! Warwick, stop! No, Waffles! Oh my gosh, Warwick! Congratulations so much! Oi, 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 Warwick! Oh my goodness! Congratulations! 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 Oi, oi! Look at that beautiful check mark! Oi! I was just, I won't stop. Thank you, Warwick. I'm so proud of you. I will say, I will say, I was not surprised that Warwick got partner. I was not surprised, not at all. But I am super happy for you. You totally deserve it. You're an amazing creator. Oi, oi. Everybody, go follow Warwick. Go follow Warwick and give him lots of love. Warwick cannot be stopped. <laughs> cannot be stopped. We have tried. I'm far too kind. I think I'm not kind enough. Oi. Hi. Hi, everybody. I don't have a video or anything to show you. My name's Earl and I play games. Hi. I'm also a cat. And I'm also a human. Hi. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm a, I'm a cute, I'm a cute cat boy going to school right now. Look, see? I've even got a big old bow and everything. That means that I'm the cutest girl. I'm the cutest girl because I have the biggest bow. <laughs> uh, waves high and hair hides him. What? Excuse me. You brought us to a cat and Doki? Let's go. <laughs> yes. Doki Doki. You know, it's a little dangerous. It's a little frightening in this classroom. I hope none of y'all are scared or anything. 
right? Y'all wouldn't be little scared babies, would you? This game can be a little disturbing, if you know what I mean. Ahem. But don't worry, I'll keep you all very safe. I'll keep you all safe in my backpack. <clears throat> uh, he's actually very tiny. I am! Look, I'll sit next to my, to my girlfriend. Look how big she is. Wow. Wow, can you pick me up? Can you pick me up and hold me, please? Can you rock me to sleep? Yuri, please. Please, I know I ask every single night, but I just can't sleep. Tee hee. You wouldn't mind carrying me around, would you? My feet are just so small and my legs are so short. I just can't get anywhere fast. I need your help. Please. Um, I guess I could carry you around if you wanted me to, but it would be a little weird. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> just working on the do key. Ah, uh, the key to do, finally. Also, thank you for the follow. Is that Greendra and Liberty and the narrator? Thank you all so much. <gasps> why, is why squirrel look at me like that? No! Squirrel likes it. Squirrel is on, listen, squirrel's riding on my back and I'm riding on Yuri's back. Whoopee! Ah! <laughs> Innocent Alex, no! It looks like Salty's looking at me. I don't like that. <laughs> why is our, our eyes are looking at each other? <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> I hate it. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't like Why did Alistair do that? Alistair made them look at each other. It looks like Salty and I are both in a microwave. And we're looking at each other. No. Oh, my reaction to this information. Salty's pup pupils are white. They are? No, they're not. Are they? Oh, they are. You're right. That's true, but it still looks like they're looking at each other. It still looks like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just I just wasn't reading that off the image. But uh, yeah, like I said, uh, we, we do variety over here, so if anyone wants to hang out with us, you're more than welcome. We're gonna be playing Mortuary Assistant. We're gonna be playing, ooh, I really wanna play Fatal Frame. But yeah, we're in the Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm trying to date Yuri. We'll see if it works out. Our, our clothes match, that's the only reason. And um, uh, what did we just do? We just read poems to each other and uh, Yuri's poem was very complicated. Natsuki's was like very childish and I picked a side with Yuri, I guess. You need a lurk? Of course. Yeah, Warwick. You, 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 you've been so busy. You've been so busy. Oi, 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 Warwick. Get yourself some rest. Thank you so much for the raid. That's super sweet of you. Thanks for trusting me with your peeps. I promise to take good care of them. Yes. Uh, you return with salad. Hooray! Yum yum. Do you put do you put salad dressing on your salad? I hack and appreciate you, uh, friend, and you're great. Thank you for your love and support. Of course! Oh, more more support. More support for Warwick. Oi oi! Whenever you want to play games, just say the word. Just say the word. If someday you're just like, dang, I sure wish that I had a person that could do a poo voice in this match, then just 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 send me a DM. Boom. I'm there. I'm there. But yeah, Warwick, enjoy your night. Night, 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 night. Everybody say good night. Um, no matter how simple or refined somebody's writing style is, they're still putting their feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened whenever you said that her poem was cute. I, I see. I, I didn't notice that I, I'm sorry. Ooh. <laughs> but Nats, but, but Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well. And if you, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think that you should too? <laughs> Natsuki clenched her fists. <laughs> In the end, nobody had taken her side. Oh no! <laughs> Even Monica's siding with uh, with Yuri. This is a problem. But at least it doesn't make me look so bad. It just makes uh, Natsuki feel alienated. So if anybody's gonna like go crazy, it's gonna be Natsuki. So everybody keep an eyeball out. Keep an eyeball out just in case she does anything sussy. Watch out, see if she's sharpening her pencils a little too sharp. Uh, she's trapped at this point being defiant is the only uh, 
She's being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. She's also the youngest, poor Natsuki. Uh, I ended up feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need... Uh, Sayori, she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm gonna go do that. It'll spare me from having to look at your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches up her own poem from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem in her hands and throws it in the trash. Oh no, oh no, don't do that. Don't throw away your poem. Nobody said it was bad. No, I regret everything. I hate this game. I hate this game. They, they making me be mean. I don't want to be mean. I want to be nice to everybody. No, where's my poly game? Where's my poly harem? <laughs> Dang it. Uh, Natsuki, she really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at the desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in the adjacent chair. Huh. Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. I actually kind of do. No, Yuri! How could anyone have not gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Not true. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, Earl. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you part of this club now, now that you've sided with me and made Natsuki mad. Now I'm glad that you're here. You've been a useful pawn for me thus far, and I look forward to our exploits in the future. How well do you hold a knife? Do you know anything about gunplay? Um, uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, my cojones. <laughs> I would never do anything so shameful. So. Eh? What thing did Natsuki say? Huh? Um, well, never mind that. I'm gonna go make some tea. <laughs> ah, good idea. <laughs> make enough <laughs> make enough for more than one person, okay? Because I'm thirsty. Yeah. Wow, this is a great game so far. <laughs> what do y'all think what do y'all think so far about these characters? Huh? What are the reviews? How are the reviews? Who's the who's the best characters? As a redhead, you don't know everything <laughs> you don't do everything gingerly. Got him! <laughs> Monica does everything gingerly. Yuri is uh, interesting. Isn't Yuri like girls love manga? That's kind of a funny name, right? Yuri. Anyway. Uh, Sayori, the best. What? You like Sayori? What's so good about them? They're just like the girl next door, right? They're the girl next door. I mean, they're friendly. They're bubbly. Uh, they're, they're pretty cute, but they're kind of level-headed. I think that they're like maybe the most... Maybe they're... Kind of the most normal. I think that Monica and Sayori are kind of normal. But um, yeah, Natsuki and Yuri are kind of memes, I would say. She's sunshine and joy. Yeah, I think that Sayori is less serious than Monica. That's what I would say. Uh, the game's too scary. I know, right? Imagine. Social interactions, most frightening thing in the world. Oh no, I have to talk to people. Please don't make me. Um, I think, yeah, these are, these are kind of interesting. Uh, you're trying hard to not spoil anything. Good job. Good job. You're doing great so far. You can make up your own mind as we go. It's still so early. Oh, God. How long does this game take? I've already been playing for two hours. Oh, mama. Okay, okay everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. By the way, we might not be able to finish this game because uh, I'm supposed to be playing a game with Human 1. We're going to be playing Fortnite. So I might have to switch out of this game or, or in the stream before I can finish it. But we will we will play it uh, tomorrow if we're not done. If we're not done, we'll play it tomorrow because I, I want to get through this. I, I'm really curious how it goes. Um, how did you feel about sharing your poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Earl, how about you? I hated it. Yeah, I'd say the same. What? I don't even get to pick? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was neat to talk with everyone. 
Golly. Golly, it was lots of fun. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Hey, we don't have to do it. We don't have to copy. Oh my gosh. Read faster. And maybe you'll learn something about your friends too. <laughs> so your poems will turn out even better. No, I don't want to read faster. If I read faster, then I'm going to make mistakes and people won't understand what's going on, okay? Do you understand? If I talk too fast, nobody understands it. Do you get me? Do you, do you get what I'm saying? I also can't do different voices if I talk too fast. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems that everybody likes so that I can manipulate them and I can force them to be part of my harem. <laughs> oh. With any luck, that means that I can uh, at least do a better job impressing those who I want to impress. <laughs> ah. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Earl, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. It's been enlightening. I feel like we've gotten closer than ever before. Sayori grabs my arm, puts me into a chokehold. <laughs> Wait. Uh, I can't say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That, that's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I, I don't hate them. I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. Give me the deets, sis, come on. Uh, I can see why they're, I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Earl, it's nice that I get to, sp that I get to spend time with you in the club. <laughs> I get to spend time with you in the club. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm a child. I'm a child. <clears throat> can somebody play some club music for me? But I, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. In the club. In the club with Sayori. Drinks all me. Uh, and I think everyone likes you too. That's. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts my soul to say that every time. Every day is going to be so much fun. Huh. <sighs> It looks like Sayori hasn't caught on to the situation that I'm in. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Or a rock and a soft place. Sure, being friends with everyone is... <laughs> sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. <laughs> That's a weird, weird gesture. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. <laughs> oh no! Don't use, don't use Sayori as an as an internal monologue. <laughs> Poor Sayori. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. What what are we doing? Hmm. So should we write another poem for Yuri? I guess? I feel like I know that you can you can probably get an ending where like all the girls like you. So maybe we should write a poem for Natsuki next cuz I think that Natsuki's pissed with us right now. So let's 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 make a Natsuki uh, poem. So maybe hair? Yeah, hair, socks, puppy, disown, <laughs> joy. No, not that. Okay, a uh, bunny. Strawberry color loud dream uh dream. No, not dr god dang it. I don't I don't know what these girls like anymore. Uh fireworks promise vivid doki doki. Yeah, there we go, doki doki. Uh sweet? No! Sayori, go away! I'll I'll give you things later. Bliss. That's probably a little too complicated. Climax. Fickle fr friends. No! Sayori likes my poem too much! Oh no! Um music. No! Sayori, stop liking everything that I write! Dang it, we're so compatible. Oh, what a pain. 
Oh my god. Candy. Okay, okay. Kawaii. I, I got this. Fun. No! Sayori, stop. Uh, calm. Oh my god. Holiday. No! Uh, Peter. Yeah, sugar. Rose. No, I should have put anime. Dang it. That was my bad. That was my bad. Uh, smile. God dang it, Sayori's gonna love my poem. I was a fool. Also, Tin, good morning. Oi, oi, oi. Good morning, good morning. Sayori's gonna love it. I know. I gotta make up with Natsuke. I wanna, I wanna do this even Steven. I wanna play this game even Steven style. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Blood everywhere. Hair flying in the air, newly ripped. Oh wait, nope, everyone's chilling. Hi, Earl. Yo, <laughs> yo, Sayori. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying, yo. Well, my name is Earl, yo. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> looks, looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always simple things with you anyway. What? Excuse me? Holy moly, my character is a straight savage. S speaking of which, uh, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. God, I don't get to choose anything in this world. Eh? Uh, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? What? Oh, because she doesn't have any money and she's going to beg for it. I see. Eh? Uh, why, why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, 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 Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open, then turns it upside down. <laughs> Let's its contents spill out onto the desk. Ah, I see. Bunch of paper clips, lint, and a big ball of hair. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. Okay, now she's being adorable with her little tiny hot dog fingers. That's not fair. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. It's elementary, my dear Watson. 100% hearing that you're watching Breaking Bad. What? Yes, I have been watching Breaking Bad. I'm in season two already. I'm really enjoying it. I want to watch Better Call Saul next. Uh, so either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to walk, or you planned conveni to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. Mm-hmm, Sugar Mommy Earl. Hey! Don't tell them about that, Alex. Oh my God. <laughs> there's nothing private anymore. Uh, but there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves one option. Ooh, uh, I give up. <laughs> Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means that you deserve to feel guilty. Ha ha ha. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. I was just... It was just something in my book. Yuri! <laughs> Tell Earl to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't, don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that... Your suffering is fair enough retribution. Oh my god, Yuri is a savage! <laughs> J is fair enough retribution? Good lord! Each time you talk about hot dog fingers, I can't help imagine holding hands with somebody that has no bones in their fingers. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, so die. You haven't you haven't seen everything everywhere all at once, have you? Uh did did I just I I did I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in my book. Ooh. Ah, ha, 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 ha. 
I really like it when you speak your mind, Yuri. Even if you sound like a dumbass. Tee hee. Eh -he -he. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way that you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. <laughs> okay, I like Sayori a lot more now. Retribution. That! Still coming for... for <laughs> still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little of devil inside all of us. What? What? What are you saying? You're too scary. You're too scary for me now. Uh, there's a little devil inside all of us? Excuse me? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys that she was bringing me to the club even before she told me. But you wouldn't have come if it wasn't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsu Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Eh <laughs> 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 Who smacked him? Out of nowhere, somebody smacks Sayori in the face and and tumbles onto the desk? Oh, something smacks. I thought it said someone. Ow. What was... Eh? A cookie. <laughs> Sure enough, a giant, a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. <coughs> Sayori glances around. Is it a miracle? Is this because I paid my restitution? Ret retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> God, this is too much chaos. Ahahaha. I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Ah ha 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 ha! <laughs> Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. <laughs> Sayori hugs the cookie. How big is this cookie? How big is this freaking cookie? Poison cookies? No, Bree. It's not. It's not that part of the game yet. Jeez, just eat it. Just eat it, Sayori. God, stop talking about the cookie. Just eat it. Sayori rapidly, t rapidly. That's not a good word there. I don't think so. I don't know why, but rapidly tears sounds really weird. Sayori rapidly tears open the, that sounds like you just literally looked up. Oh, I want it. I want to use quickly, but we should go to thesaurus.com so that we can make sure that we get a different word. <clears throat> I don't know why it bothers me. But anyway, uh, tears it open, quickly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. <laughs> So good! <laughs> yes. Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at her? Don't laugh at her! Rapidly is a word. I know it's a word. It just... I don't know why it's bothering me. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Rapidly tears something open. It's... I don't know. I mean, it is a word. It's properly used. It's spelled correctly, but... I don't know, something about it. <laughs> something about it, I don't like it. Uh, you're, you're going through a lot for one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks yours looks really good too, Natsuki. No, don't steal her cookie. <laughs> Can I try it? Jeez, beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> I knew it! Oh, oh, that move was scary! Oh, oh. Just imagine, imagine Natsuki um, or Sayori zooming at you like that so smoothly. So smoothly and quickly getting right behind you. Boo! Uh, Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookies still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Um. <laughs> Sayori, Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of out of Natsuki's cookie. No! How dare you! You stole it! No stealing bites! Hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. <laughs> the racehorse Sayori. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such kids sometimes. 
Monica, can you tell Sayori, eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. She's sharpening her knives down the hallway. <laughs> Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Trots away. Thanks for the cookie. <laughs> Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had, like, I wish I had four people to, to, to voice act this with. <laughs> just for fun <laughs> because it's so hard for me to switch between these equally awful voices <clears throat> hmm that's a bit unusual i hope she's okay of course she's okay she probably just had something to do today she's pretty popular after all hey you don't think she has a <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> oh, oh my God. That's, that's Yuri, shut up. Oh my God. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door see Natsuki's got some got some 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 pride in themselves. That's that's what I like. I'm just saying. You gotta have some confidence. Suddenly the door swings open. I'm sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be so late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong willed. But boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah, uh, well, my last period was study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. Ah ha ha ha. <laughs> Do they all have their own laughs? <laughs> that makes no sense at all, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I, I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. D Monica's the killer! Monica's the killer. I don't trust her anymore. Piano? I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. I, I, I don't really. I just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play sometime for us, Monica. That's a... Uh... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! <laughs> that sounds cool. It sounds really cool and groovy, babe. Even tubular, mayhaps. I also look forward to it. I is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Earl. You already have. <clears throat> Monica smiles sweetly. I'm scared! Tayaki! How are you doing? Oi, 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 oi! <gasps> Aww, look at the baby! Look at the baby, it has a little pumpkin. Has a little pumpkin. A little pumpkin full of candy. How are you doing, Tayaki? Have you got all that candy because you're so sweet? Awa! Oi! Welcome, welcome. We're talking to the, the to the Doki Doki Literature Club. Getting up to shenanigans, you see. Very troublesome, very troublesome girls here. Always fighting. But I have the biggest bow, so I am the cutest girl. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to pressure you or anything like that. Aha, <laughs> don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I uh, didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone's already settled down. Sayori somehow... Already finished her entire cookie. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm telling you, how big are these cookies? I can finish a cookie pretty quick. I'm doing good. Who's the best girl so far? I don't know. I started by liking Yuri, but Yuri's kind of... I don't know. Yuri's kind of mean to Natsuki, and I don't really like that. <laughs> Yuri's also a little full of themselves, so I'm not sure. I was, I was thinking that Yuri didn't have much self-confidence, and that immediately attracted me to her, but... 
now that I see that she's kind of prideful, I'm not sure where I land anymore. I'm kind of evenly talking to all of them at the moment, which I was told not to do, but I am disobedient, if nothing else. Yuri's back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Into the closet with you, Natsuki! Also, uh, have you ever seen this game before, Tayaki? Have you ever seen this? Do you have a favorite character? Teehee! <laughs> Eh-heh-heh. <laughs> Man, Natsuki was kind of rude first. Yeah, but Natsuki's like younger than them. And Natsuki is just like, Natsuki just didn't get it. They just didn't get their poem. They were just like, I, I'm too stupid. Like if, if somebody said that to me, I would take that as them being like, they need, that's like an opportunity to explain it, right? Ah, oh, everyone's saying hi to Taiyaki. <laughs> Ooh, I might have to take a bathroom break in a minute. But I've got to get to the bottom of this, uh, hey! The bottom of this mystery. I slump down in the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with, with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book that Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. Okay. We're probably gonna seem lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone that literature, what literature is all about. It's all about love and trouble and, and, and all that other stuff, you know? The problem is the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everybody. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? W what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? In the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is be taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think that food would do the trick? What kind? <laughs> you got Sayori's attention now. Ah, uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> ah, good thinking. Uh, Natsuke would love to do that. Ah, uh, you're right. Natsuke makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. Was That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Bruh. <laughs> Cup, cupcakes it is then. I am hungry. <laughs> anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I think I like Sayori the, the most now. <laughs> I like how much she talks about food. It's endearing. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies an unexpected reason that I admire her. Unlike me who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I ended up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Get out of my face. Ooh, ah! I open my I open my eyes to find Sayori's face super pixelated very close to me. Did they not use vector images? I nearly fall out of my chair. Ooh, ah! Ah! <laughs> sorry. Uh wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does, doesn't our school, <laughs> does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in the, cl now that you're in the club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll have to get used to it. Don't say that out, don't say that so loud. They can't know that I watch anime. <laughs> <laughs> What's he so ashamed of? What a baby. Or all such a baby. Uh, it's actually nine minutes till bedtime. Oh, snuggly. Snuggly Lupus. Snuggly Lupus in a blanket. Lupus wrapped up in a blanket? 
don't say that so loud. I glanced over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. Oh no, Monica can't know that I'm a weeb. Ooh, my name's Earl. It's true though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always, you're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I do best. That's the, that's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? Not, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. All over your legs, and your arms, and your face, and your midriff. <laughs> eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Oh, what? Look, your hair is sticking out around here. No, it's not. Her hair is perfect. Also, wow, 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 wow. I love your hair. Aw, thank you. Uh, Anne did it for me. And and just asked if if I wanted <laughs> some help doing my hair, and I was like, sure. Also, Sammy Manning, thank you for the follow. What's up, Sammy? Oopsie, Oopsie's here. Napping club, sign me up. Guys who watch anime would have no interest in this game. <laughs> Is that true? Classic Anne. Oh my god. <laughs> Napping club sounds great. Let's all join. Ah. I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. I feel the coarse thickness of each strand between my fingers. It's tantalizing. So thin, yet so strong. Just like my sweet, sweet Sayori. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't even straight either. Yeah, look how straight my bow is. <laughs> hey, stop! Stop it! I'm just trying to make this game more interesting. <laughs> look, your bow isn't even straight. It's not supposed to be straight. Oh my god, I hate the protagonist. Uh, and there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. No, there isn't! No, there isn't! Stop picking on Sayori. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. It's cool moisture touches my finger. I immediately gasp. <gasps> it's so cold. I grab my handkerchief and I gingerly wipe her collar. I look deeply into her eyes. Our breath on each other's faces as I wipe her collar. Like a dutiful butler. But nobody would ever notice me. <laughs> no, nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, you meanie! <laughs> and you don't even- uh, and you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up! <laughs> Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think that you don't have a boyfriend yet? What? You think that buttoning her, bla her blazer is gonna make her have more of a chance of getting a boyfriend? Bruh. <laughs> uh, that's not toothpaste, it's bird- <laughs> Mushroom gal. That's disgusting. Eh? That's, that's super mean. <laughs> that was really loud. Sorry, but you'll have to thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Each button that I put, <laughs> that I put together tightens around her very slim figure. She squeals a little bit as I make it to the final button. I can barely breathe. That's just how I like it, babe. <laughs> <gasps> Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Whoa! Whoa, mama! What a view. <laughs> Aw, she's cute. She's cute. She says, eh heh heh. Eh heh heh. <laughs> eh heh heh. Ope says that all the time to me. Sammy, welcome in. It's nice to meet you. Oi, oi, oi. Get a screenshot of that. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Her feet look whack. <laughs> She's got little goblin toes. 
She looks like she's wearing socks. This perspective. Are you seeing these feet over here? Look at these. Look at these feet. They're so sharp on the end. I can't. I can't get enough of these feet. Oh wait, don't quote that. I mean, they they look funny. That's all. Uh, well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. You know, touch me. <laughs> eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Ah. Uh, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. That button might come off. <laughs> oh, God. I'm out of heart. I can't. <laughs> No! 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 Diving! I told you no! How dare you? It's getting hot in here. Whew. Even Sayori's got a sweat. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> Don't quit. Don't clip it too. Oof. It did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed it sooner that it doesn't fit you. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Bless. Uh, don't say that out loud. Whoa. You can't talk about the female body. That's too weird. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, you look much better now, so what? I hate this protagonist so much. I, I want to put him in a meat grinder myself. Whenever my main character dies by one of these girls stabbing him, I'm going to be pleased. Ah, uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? <laughs> but it's so stuffy. Ooh. <laughs> it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons the blazer once more. Phew. That, that is so much better. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, you. <laughs> anyway, this is not PG. I never claimed to be PG. I'm PG-13 now. I already told you that. I, I, I've already said that. It's in the rules. The rules say PG-13. Uh, except for, except for that Fortnite stream. <laughs> the Fortnite stream is, uh, you got that sugar cookie? Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. They're so cute. The rules. <laughs> Don't forget the rules. Oi, oi. Sugar cookie. Sugar cookie is so cute. Very adorable. I love his little, I love his little mouth. Wait, did I miss the Fortnite stream? Nah, 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 nah. You haven't missed it. We have, we have two more rewards. This is one of the rewards for um, the charity stream because y'all donated so much money to the kiddos. Y'all donated so much to kiddos in the hospital. So uh, we're gonna, we're playing Doki Doki. We're gonna play a toxic Fortnite stream and I'm gonna do a baking stream with a minion cake. And also I have to dye my hair and beard purple. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dye my hair very soon. I'm not sure which day, but I'm gonna do it. Def not PG. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Mmm, delicious. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'll actually drink now. Ahem. Ahem. Anyway. Anyway, what are we doing in this classroom again? Hey! How dare you? Don't bonk me. I'm being good. I'm being good, okay? I'm making this game as PG as I can. Teehee, that's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't let me do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. Aww. This is cute! This is a cute little romance. I like Sayori. That's very sweet. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Uh, I guess... I think Sayori's cute, but my character's awful. Uh, so, th so that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. 
Stop saying these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Girl, that's toxic. Don't let any man tell you how to dress. I know, right? <laughs> well, also, don't don't let a man be like pressuring you into not having guy friends or hanging out with guys. Absolutely. That's a red flag. That's a red flag if you're if your significant other is telling you who you can hang out with and what you can wear or what you need to look like or how you need to talk or any of that. It's a red flag. Y'all be yourselves now. Don't let anybody tell y'all what to do now. Mm -mm. Uh, geez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Dang bully. <laughs> Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are getting better at taking care of each other. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? I guess that's kind of, I think that's true of most people, to be honest. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You know, sneak into my room and shake the devil out of me. <laughs> Pick me up, throw me down the stairs. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking this time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems that we wrote now? Yay! <laughs> Earl, I can't wait to read yours. Actually, mine is really good for Sayori. I think Sayori's gonna like it the most. The most. The boasties. What? Is there fan art? Fan art? Where? Oh, it's an update. Ooh, it's an update to the Earl to the Earl Witch. Okay, okay, I'm gonna pause for just a second. I wanna I wanna show off this art that that uh, Anne made. Look, it's me as a witch. It's me as a little early witch. It's adorable. Look at me. I'm so cute. I'm so cute. This is the original, but Anne has has updated it and put shading on it. Oh wait, no, that's not the shaded one. Click. Click. I haven't seen it yet. Click, 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 click. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, shiny. Look how shiny it is. It looks like magic is in the air. Oh my God. There's magic about. You better look out. This cat boy's up to no good. I put a spell on you. I put a spell on you. It's cute. I love the pants, the pants and the boots. I love the jester. This is like a jester witch, and I love it. It's such a fun idea. The witch hat, the bat wings. Oh, baby. Where's my tail, though? Oh, there it is. <gasps> my tail is going under my buttocks. That's adorable. It's adorable. These booties got some real heels to them. Shucks. Can I dress up like this in real life? This is adorable. Big old poofy pants, just like my favorite character in, uh, in Osama Ranking. Osama Ranking. Osama Ranking, the character that has the big puffy pants is my favorite. How'd you know? How'd you know? Did we watch it together or something? And it's beautiful. And it's beautiful. How dare you? How dare you make me so amazing? <laughs> Everybody react to it and give it love. Give it love. And can we get a shout out for Anne? Oi, oi. Can we get a shout out for Anne? Go check them out. Their art is amazing. Uh, yeah, same. I fail to sound en enthusiastic. But Sayori still trots away to receive her poem. She's always trotting this way and that. Ooh, who should I show my poem to first? Natsuki is gonna kind of like it. Oh boy, what's the fight gonna be between now? I've, I've got to make up with Natsuki. I'm gonna show them first. <laughs> Natsuki reads my poem. She keeps glancing at me, then back at the poem. By now, she must have read it more than once. Are you supposed to be bad at this? I is that a compliment? No, I mean, you know. Natsuki struggles to find the words that she wants. I just expected a lot less after what you showed me yesterday. That's all. Well, I guess I got lucky with this one. Yeah, exactly. You just got lucky, you know. Don't get used to it. You won't always manage to write poems this cute. I mean, <laughs> see, I want to be Natsuki. I don't want to. I don't want to date Natsuki. I want to. I want to be a tsundere queen. Okay. Okay. It's not like I want to be a tsundere. Me. 
I mean, I mean well written. No, I mean... Ah, uh, ah, uh, so that's how it is. My poem is cute. No, why are you smiling? It's not like I like cute things. <laughs> Natsuki shoves my poem back, toward, back towards me. Huh, read it again. I, I, huh, reading it again, I decided it's not so great after all. It's too cute and doki doki. It would only impress, you know, girls who like that sort of thing. Ahaha. <laughs> For some reason, Natsuki is incredibly easy to see through. Well, anyway, you're gonna read mine now, right? Judging by your taste, you'll probably like it a lot. You'll probably learn something, too. Don't forget who the real pro is. Oh, God. Another scroller. Okay. <clears throat> Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Ickly, <laughs> icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has such a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Oh my god. OT would hate this poem. <laughs> OT would tear this poem to shreds. <laughs> if OT was playing this game, he would he would like just throw in the trash. All this hate for spiders hurts my soul. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start liking spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. I'm gonna- <laughs> and I'm gonna tell everyone. <laughs> I love this poem. It is, <laughs> it's so toxic. This, this poem is the most toxic of them all. <laughs> this is awful. Is this like some veiled, I don't know. This is coming off as homophobic for some reason. <laughs> it doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross, she's gross. I don't know why it's coming off as homophobic. Natsuke, you don't even know what you're writing, you dummy. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. <laughs> I... <laughs> I hope you didn't think that that was the best I could do. No, of, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. Oh no. Oh no. What? Wait. Wait a second. Was the po- Wait. Oh. Wait a second. Is Natsuki a based queen? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. It helps people realize how stupid they're being. Oh, Natsuke is smarter than I thought. Wait a minute, wait a minute, why am I so judgmental? It's clear that Natsuke's poem is, is showing that a hatred for spiders is silly. I see, I see, this is, this goes deeper than I thought. Actually, Natsuke is based. The turnaround, I never realized. Listen, I, I was just reading the text as it was said. Dang. Natsuke, I'm, I'm so impressed. Oh, Lupus, are you gonna go to bed? Oi, oi, oi! You, 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 you! Enjoy your sleep. Enjoy your sleep. We'll see you later, Lupus. Thanks for hanging out with us. Much love to Lupus. Beep boop. She got us with the first half. <laughs> like, like anyone would agree to the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Dang. Do you know people? Uh, do you know people like that? Of course. It's how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. Yo, wait a minute. Natsuke, are you a bi queen? Wait a minute. Uh, I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Sometimes you're afraid for people to find out. 
and they'll make fun of you and think less of you. Oh, it's manga. That's what it is. <laughs> it's manga. It's manga. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what somebody likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? Damn, sis. She's spitting, though. Whew. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Manga. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're definitely right. She just likes reading stories with pictures, you know? Picture stories. Books, drawings in them. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of people can too. It's what I do best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important, but I want to make people think, not just feel. Sometimes I feel like thinking though. Remember that. <laughs> God, so aggressive. I'm going to write a good one for tomorrow, too, so look forward to it. Sure, I'm, I'm totally looking forward to it. Uh, oh, is that, a, is that a pleasant little loaf? Is that a dramatic little loaf? Baby. Baby loaf. Let's, uh, let's show it to Yuri. Yuri's going to hate this one. Yuri's going to be like, um, this is garbage. <laughs> Let's see what you've written for today. Hmm. Hmm. This is pretty good, Earl. Were you influenced by seeing everyone's writing styles yesterday? I I guess you could say that. I was also a bit a bit surprised how differently everyone writes. So I respect you for trying new things, even if they don't work out very well. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more you don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turn, work your brain like turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings, and write down the things that you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. My brain. It's a very intimate exercise. I see. That's uh, certainly an interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that if you'd like to read it. Of course. Is this the poem that you wrote for today? Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. Tee oh, God, this is the longest one yet. Okay. <clears throat> the raccoon. It happened in the dead of night when I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. Okay, I already love this one. It happened in the dead of night when I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences, well aware that the raccoon is fed and will that that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of the cutting knife was my symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon, an urge. What kind of raccoon? What kind of urges you having about this raccoon? The moon increments its phase. It, 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 I thought I was gonna say phases. <clears throat> the moon increments its phase and reflects that much more, that much more light off of my cutting knife. God. It is the very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I merely projected my emotions onto a newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. <laughs> this is scary. This is frightening. <laughs> I don't like every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. A raccoon sandwich by Yuri. Wow. Um, it was a little more, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. 
It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't help- but I can't Im begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, the- oh wait, <laughs> That's not my voice. Yeah, if I take it at face value, I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in one or another way. I wanted to express the feeling to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things that I'm usually forced to keep to myself, but they keep clawing at the walls of my brain. My hobbies, I must share them. So sometimes I enjoy writing about them. Huh, that's funny. Huh? Didn't Natsuki also write something about that? About someone being ridiculed for a strange interest? Eh? She... she did? Yeah. She was talking about how it didn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. She... she's right. I, I mean... doesn't she... does she really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like... it sounds like you two have that in common. That's... well... that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person that would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Wow, we're all learning so much. Ah, uh, please don't tell her I said that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I have no reason to. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I wanted to cause some drama. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that, that bread's any good for that raccoon, right? It's probably nasty white bread. Well, well, thanks for sharing it with me. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. Is that a compliment? <laughs> I'm gonna save Sayori for last. Best for last. I mean, <clears throat> play the matchmaker. <gasps> yes! Yes! Yuri and Natsuki. Hooray! They can be each other's weird hobby. Uh. Hi again, Earl. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not as long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. It's a popular ship. Okay, never mind. No, I don't like it. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to want to share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I mean, Yuri has it in her name. It's true! Very sussy. Very, very sussy. I give my poem to Monica. All right. I like this one. Makes me think of something that Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are real good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Ah, well. We may be good- we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are other similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way that she talks about you, my god, she won't stop talking about that Earl. It sounds like the two of- uh, the two of you really care about each other's well-being. <laughs> I was confused by that hyphen. There's a hyphen between well and being. <laughs> You love her accent. I was just like all of the girls already sound similar So I got to do at least something different for Monica. Good gracious Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when I'm reading your poem Hmm You sure you're not reading it too much reading into it too much. Aha. Uh -huh. I could be oh Gosh, I sound like Yuri <laughs> <laughs> I should put on a cowboy hat whenever I do that. But in any case, Sayori's writing is, has a kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions, like happiness and sadness. Who knew that somebody so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? 
Sure, I hope it doesn't have any, like, knives in it. I like the way that this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look at this dang poem here. All right, Monica, so this one's called Save Me, huh? It's a bit of a long one. I gotta scroll real for- Whoa, what did that just say? Oh, why ain't I on I'm really interested in this one. Ahem! Save Me by Monica. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. Like, pl like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaninglessness. Load me? Load me? Like, like into the car? This is a scary poem. I don't like this one. I'm sorry. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaninglessness. Load me. <laughs> what is that? What is load? What is that? What does this mean? It's got to be like a television? She's an app. Yeah, that's got to be it, right? Meaningless noise. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. Hmm. <laughs> That's my response. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? All these girls are going crazy. Ah ha ha. I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I, I never said that. It's just not the kind of thing that I've really seen before, I guess. It's kind of like playing with... I kind of like playing with space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. Poof, poof. The way I wrote the lines is really, really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. Oh, does it? I see. It's still hard for me. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem about isn't the right question. A poem can be abstracted as a physical expression of a feeling. Expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. The accent you picked is super weird. Yes, it is. But I couldn't come up with anything else. <laughs> I picked it out of desperation. She was the last one to talk in this game, so she got the worst voice. <laughs> but at least it's easy for me to do and it doesn't hurt my voice. I don't have... I barely have any girl voices, and they're all awful anyway. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Oh. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected might happen. Wait, is this even a tip of, is this even a tip about writing? What am I even talking about? Ah ha ha ha. That's it. That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Monica. Oh my god. Eh <laughs> heh. Eh? Oh my Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is so good, Earl. Eh? Uh-oh, eh? <laughs> I love it. Especially after yesterday's poem. Ugh. You're too honest sometimes, Sayori. No, but really. I want to put this on my wall. <laughs> I love the tilde over here. My wall. <laughs> Can I? 
Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I, I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, may maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's, opin uh, Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you just like it? <laughs> Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I, sh I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a love letter to me and me only. It's an Earl poem. Ew. <laughs> and that makes me feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. <laughs> Sayori hugs the sheets against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad, but that's why I just go with my heart. It makes me feel thing. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. Legitimately, that's how I feel about movies, though. I, if a movie makes me feel nothing, I just don't like it. Okay, to be fair, to be fair. I, I do feel this way, kind of about entertainment. If it doesn't make me feel anything, then I don't like it. If it makes me feel things, then I kind of, I kind of like it no matter how good the quality is. Like, I, I like a lot of things that are quote unquote bad. Like, I know that they're bad, but I don't care because they make me feel things. They got Sayori to lampshade Monica's busting of the fourth wall. <laughs> Uh, that's the point of the entertainment. That's how I am about music. Yeah, yeah, me too with music. I, I don't have any opinions on music except for if it sound good, me like it. That's that's my that's my opinion. I like all types of music and I don't really have hard or fast rules of what I don't like. I do have plenty of music that I don't like, but don't have any real rules about it. Also, Asia! Oi, oi, oi! Welcome in! Welcome in, Asia. We're playing this adorable d -d -d dating simulator. And also Caitlin's. What's up? Oi, oi! Caitlin's. Caitlin's is here. Ah, friends. We're here playing the cutest game ever. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aw, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. Are they all succubus? No! They're not- none of them are succubus. None of them are succubi. <laughs> if you don't, you might up- you might end up getting hurt at some point. Huh? That came out of nowhere? Hey! Protagonist, you better shut your mouth. You better shut your mouth before something bad happens to poor Sayori. <laughs> no! Don't say that! Oh no! No one gets hurt in this game. Yeah. <laughs> you roll your dice, you move your mice. Nobody gets hurt. Eh? Huh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Any anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like... Happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah, see, I love mu some some types of music that I love in particular are either sad music with happy lyrics, happy music with sad lyrics, or just sad music with sad lyrics. But I, I don't I don't know if I love happy music, happy lyrics. I think that that is normally a little too sweet for me, but I do I do like it sometimes. It depends on my mood. In some moods, I'll be down to listen to happy music, but it's kind of rare. It's kind of a rare so I can cry. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I need something that can encourage me to cry. Instrumental? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like some instrumental music. Also, Toasted. We'll see you later. Enjoy your sleep. Oi, oi, oi. See you later, Toasted. Wish me luck. 
Wish me luck with these crazy. You love the hair today? Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you. Anne did my hair for me. Thank you, Anne. Anne's like a big sister to me. Doing my hair? Shucks. You know a ton of happy songs, sad lyrics, but no sad songs, happy lyrics. Mmm! Interesting. <gasps> Vampire! Ooh! Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't, I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like you, silly. Tee hee. <laughs> Drex! Oi, oi, oi! Welcome in! Drex! Drex on! Meow, meow, meow. I like happy the most. But sometimes, whenever you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help the rain give the rain cloud a little hug. Aww. That's cute. And make a happy, nice little rainbow. Gay! Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. <laughs> you dyed your hair tonight? Oh! What what color did you go for, Drex? Oh! I need to dye my hair too! <laughs> for charity! I don't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, you did purple! <gasps> purple hair! I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look. Ooh, that looks so good! Drexon, I wish that I had an expression that had, like, stars in my eyes. If I had an expression with stars in my eyes, I would use it right now! Oh! It's so good! I love that color. Ooh! That's pretty much exactly what I want my hair to look like. You mind if I copy you? Tee <laughs> Oops, I put down my... Discord. Okay, okay. I gotta keep the Discord up, just in case that human one messages me. Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Earl. I should write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Alright, let's see, let's see. Oh, God, this is a big one. <clears throat> a poem by Sayori. The title is Bottles. Bottles. Ahem. I pop off my <laughs> What the hell is this? I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. Hi, Space Coyote. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. We're reading poetry tonight. <clears throat> <sighs> I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together. <sighs> the imagery in this is painful. I pop off my scalp like a lid of a cookie jar. Little balls all rubbing together. <sighs> okay. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on a shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles, all in a row. My collection makes lots of friends. Each bottle is a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends see feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off of my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty self could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo. 
inside my head. Jesus Christ, girl, go to therapy. Like, seriously, it's good for you. Like, I'm ser- like, I- I- <laughs> I've been to therapy. It'll help you, Sayori, I promise. <laughs> I promise! <laughs> that is- <laughs> I mean, it's relatable, though. I mean, what is that, like, harvesting good things out of your brain, like, making a lot of effort for other people, and then, like, running out of it and feeling empty? Wow. What's that feel like? Anyway. Holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday that I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming out of you. Monica taught me a whole lot. Oh no! How much did Monica teach you? Oh no! That's not good. That's not good. What other, what other skills did Monica instruct you on? And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. Mm. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not not exactly. Uh, maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, and you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die, which is tomorrow morning at 2 p.m. <laughs> ah, don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it more than a week later. <laughs> later. Relatable, see? I like the Sayori. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. 2 p.m. in the morning. Other Ted, I'm trying, okay? <laughs> God damn it. Listen. Listen, I'm trying my best over here, okay? I'm trying to do five different voices and read all these wacky poems. <laughs> I'm doing my best, but I'm hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Give me a break. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading everyone's poems, right? I have some, uh, something extra planned for today. So if you could all come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting new members. Uh, you said, hey, hey, it's morning for someone who sleeps till 1 a.m. Listen, I sleep till I slept till 2 p.m. today. <laughs> yeah, I slept till 2 p.m. today. Hey, glass, glass of Kino, bless. Blurs. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. God, Yuri's tall. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? We won't need more than a few decorations. Sayori's been working on posters, I've designed some pamphlets, and we can hand them out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But doesn't that... T but that doesn't tell us what we're actually gonna be doing for the event. Oh, sorry, I thought that you heard about that already. We're gonna be performing. Performing? <laughs> Puh. <laughs> Uh, Monica? Yeah, we're gonna be having a poetry performance. Each one of us is gonna choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, is that we're gonna let everyone else come and recite poems too. Sayori's putting up all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Performance poggers! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop that, sis. Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us for us to see. Just, just gonna redo that save. Open mic night! Who wants to do some slam poetry? Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't you didn't already start putting up those posters, did you? Uh well I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. 
it's, it's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There is no way I'm gonna be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Ima imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys... No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anybody, except for like a couple of days ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to ask them to recite their poems out loud for a room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. But, I still think that we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. Oh no, not the fate of the club. If we start in the evening and we put up good performances, then it'll inspire other people to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll get a show. Uh, the better we'll be able to show what literature is all about. What is literature all about? Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. It's for those reasons that we're going, that we're all in this club today. <laughs> Don't you want to share with others? To inspire them to have the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. <laughs> I know we all do. <laughs> and if all it takes is standing in front of a room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying real hard to get new members. The least that we can do is help them out a little bit. Being intimate with yourself. Yes. Yes. Intimacy with oneself is, is healthy, probably. Uh, well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. What's wrong? Run out of ammunition? Ooh. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess I'll get it over with. All right. <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? <gasps> Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Uh, I guess I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Aha, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh god, they keep hinting at all this stuff. I really don't know what's going to happen. I could see Monica sus, Yuri sus. Sayori sus. Maybe this game works where any one of them can be the killer. That's that's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like depending on your choice, somebody gets murdered or something. Like depending on your choice, different ones are murderers. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're gonna practice reciting them in front of each other. N no way! Monica, <laughs> this is all too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers, you dummy? Oh no. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll start off and I'll help everybody get a little bit more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to find a specific poem that she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly, a hymn. Monica begins reciting her poem. Thank God, I thought I was gonna have to read another poem. Her clear, confident voice clear, it fills the room. It clears the room. <laughs> her clear, clear, confident voice clears the room. Everyone's gone. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply motion, emotion behind each line that she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something that she's done before or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. 
Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes her recitation. The four of us applaud. Yay! Woo! Yay! Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica. Aha, thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll go next. Ooh, ah! <laughs> Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. <gasps> Frulio! Aw, Frulio! How are you doing? Oh my goodness! I haven't seen you in forever. Frulio! My must you! <laughs> Where have you been? Frulio! Oi, oi, oi! I hope you're doing well. It's so good to see you. I'm already spooked. <laughs> Other genres. Where's Waldo? This game? Where is the Yandere? <laughs> Exactly. Are you dating all the cuties? You bet I am. Well, maybe not all of them. I think I'm missing I'm missing a few of them. Beep boop. But yeah, human one. Uh, just tell me whenever you're ready to play. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to save and I don't think I'm going to stream it. So I don't know, just start up your stream whenever. I've got my I've got my uh, my little side view open just uh, just to see whenever you start streaming. I'm keeping an eyeball out. Uh, beep boop, beep boop. Look at all these cute emotes. Aww. Frulio, I want to get another emote from you. Hee <laughs> hee. I want to get another one. The one that you got me is so cute. Frulio's the one that made uh, the blankies. Did we get a shout out for, for Frulio? Can we get a shout out, please? Please, 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 please. Uh, ha, I will. I'm eating food right now. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, no, no rush to either one of us. Blast it all. Just do what you please. <gasps> Thank you, Linz, and welcome back. Uh, we'll just, we'll just do a little bit more of this, but we're clearly not going to get through this. We've been playing it for four hours. I think I'm playing it really slow. Oops. Sorry about that. You're in and out? No, 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 no. Linz, do whatever you got to do. Do whatever you got to do. Get your own stuff done. Don't worry about it. Uh, keeping her head, her head down, she quickly walks over to the podium. <laughs> Let me know about the emotes. Yes! Frulia is super cool, and they're super duper sweet. Oi, oi! Uh, you're back again for now. For now! Yes. Yes. <laughs> you cannot stop with the cookie run. Good, innocent Alex. Good. I'm glad that the venom is very effective. Oh, headed to bed. Hey, 99 Alchemic. Sleep well. Oi, oi, oi. We gotta play Fortnite soon. But yeah, sleep good, my friend. Thanks for hanging out. Much love to Alchemic. Uh, for a, for a non-slow reader, this game is about six hours. Oh, God. <laughs> is that true? Shucks. Then it's just going to be cute today. Ugh. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances around at each one of us. You can do it, Yuri. Oh, wait. <laughs> I thought that was the name of the poem. <laughs> I thought that the name of the poem was... You can do this, Yuri. You can do this, Yuri. <laughs> it's called... After Image of a Crimson Eye. All right. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts to read the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transformed into sharp syllables of fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns and its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. Oh my. This must be a rare glimpse of what <laughs> this man this must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire that Yuri keeps concealed in her head. Really? Who's the best girl so far? Ooh, that's kind of tough to say. Yuri's a little bit creepier than I thought. <laughs> I was initially going to go for Yuri, but Yuri's kind of, I don't know, kind of full of themselves. So I i think Sayori might be my favorite. I think, maybe? We'll see. I keep i keep changing my mind that these characters are developing quite nicely. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> Yuri snaps back <laughs> into reality and glances around her as she's bewildered, even herself. I... 
It's up to me to save this situation. Oh my god, this main character sucks. <laughs> it's up to me to save this situation. Oh my hero. What a sweet white knight. Oh my. Thank you. Thank you for saving the situation. Golly, what would we do without you? Goodness gracious. Spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. <laughs> Her purple matches you. I know. I think we I think that we're cute together. Also, she's big. I pointed this out earlier, but she could be my big girlfriend. Look, I'm just a little Earl. Little Earl. Yuri, I loved your poem. I think that your poem was really good. Oi, oi, pick me up. Pick me up. I want to see over the counter. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, incredible. Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were so caught off guard that we must have forgotten. Oops. Oops, forgot to applaud. <laughs> that, that'd be a pretty savage remark. I want to remember that one. Oops, I forgot to applaud. As we applaud, Yuri, holding, uh, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. <gasps> Yuri, that was really good. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Da, da, da. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks over to the podium. See? Now they're saying that she walks over to the podium, but they said trotted like six times in this game so far. <laughs> I'm glad that she stopped trotting everywhere. <laughs> this one is called My Meadow. Ha. Ah. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah, try not to think about it. Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine that you're reciting it to yourself, in front of the mirror, or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice has... It, was made as a perfect match. Unfortunately, I did not give her a very soft voice. <laughs> it's as shrill as can be. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. You gotta step away for a bit? Hey, no worries. Coffee casualty. I think we're almost done for this evening. Anywho. Oi, oi. But yeah, 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 go get your stuff done. Thanks for hanging out. Meow, meow. Coffee casualty. It's like getting to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Bye bye. Oi, oi, oi. Enjoy your evening. If we don't see you again, that is. Tee hee. Boy, oi, 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 oi. Sayori finish, and we applaud. I did it. <laughs> Good job, Sayori. <laughs> Even Earl liked it. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Even Earl liked it? You better watch your mouth, girl. I've been I've been very supportive of your writing. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. <laughs> the atmosphere of the poem fits it real nicely. But but <laughs> but it might be other poems that won't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. It might be that other poems. Okay. Eh, uh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of use of use. See, I can't keep doing this. We gotta, we gotta take a break. <laughs> I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They may need to be a have a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. I'm just embarrassed to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> Stop! Stop saying eh heh heh. The next time I'm gonna make you pick a poem that challenges you a little bit more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. 
Okay. <laughs> now who's next? Natsuki? <laughs> Don't make me go before Earl. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Earl lower everyone's expectations before I have to do it. Natsuki. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have a much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up instead of and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more... <laughs> I think it's less about your abilities and more about that you lack, you lack confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. <laughs> Natsuki bre begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The, the poem is called... It's called... Why are you looking at me? <laughs> be because you're presenting... <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little bit. Nice. While she's still unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's traditional style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down and give life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. Yay! Natsuki, you did great! Natsuki, we love it! She huffs back to her seat. Hoof, hoof, hoof. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do it again. Ah, uh, well... Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. Was that old smoker's breath? <gasps> no, that's old asthmatic breath. I've, I've always been able to do that. <laughs> I've always been able to do like horrible inhale, exhale because of my asthma. Uh, I can put on whatever face I want for other people, but when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I would think that it's the other way around for me. Well, that's just how I am, so... <laughs> well, I guess in that case, you won't have much of a problem at, a fe at the festival. <laughs> God, I have to stop reading. <laughs> that said, I want to thank everybody for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure to pick up a poem and get practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making the pamphlet, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find other, some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you've been putting all the effort into this club. It makes me really happy. Ah, uh, yeah, well, no problem. Okay, everyone. It's now headcanon that Natsuki just breathes like that constantly. <gasps> that's that's canon. Put it in the wiki. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, and I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow. Then we'll have a weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I, I can do this. I can do this. All right. <laughs> I stand up. <laughs> There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. Oh, God, no. Doki Doki is not Okie Doki. <laughs> Sight of Kanzion. <laughs> oh, no. My Doki Doki. It's not Okie Doki. Oi, oi, oi! We're just about to be done. I promise we're not going to get to the scary part yet. I'm playing this blind. I'm playing this blind. I think we might play it again tomorrow. And hopefully we'll start a little bit earlier. Tee-hee. And impressing Monica. 
Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Earl. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's just go already. <laughs> All right, that's a pretty good saving spot. We're gonna save right here. Boom, we didn't even make any decisions. Oh, baby. She was so mad when the scary started. No, I, I already know that it's coming. I just don't know any of what it's gonna be. So I guess, guess we're gonna have to find out later. This game's pretty fun so far. I like the characters. I like the characters. Let's see, we save the game and I guess that's it for tonight. That's it for tonight. We should, we should find somebody to raid. Oh, baby. Yeah, don't Google it. Of course I'm not gonna Google it. I don't like ruining things. <laughs> That's a that's a you thing, remember, Lens? But yeah, everybody, thanks for chilling with me and for enduring my uh, my uh, bizarre take on these characters. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Oi, oi, oi! Love y'all, peeps. Let's uh, let's raid somebody. Let's raid somebody that we like. Let's raid somebody that we like. And also, Anne, thanks again for the beautiful hair. Um, the hair, beautiful. I was gonna raid human one. Human one, go live right now. Get out of here, go live right now. Go live right now so that I can raid you. Tee -hee. But yeah, we'll be playing this again tomorrow. So if y'all wanna see some more of this, uh, I'm actually gonna look the, this up really quick. How long to beat? Let me see, how long to beat? I'll look at I'll look at how long they say. Oh, thank you for the follow. Legendary anime Japanese fan number two. Welcome in. It's so wonderful to make your acquaintance. I hope you're having a fantastic evening, afternoon, or day. Whatever time it is for you. Legendary anime fan, I hope you're having a good one. Hi. Visual novel inspector. How many visual novels have you played? Um, um, not that many. I promise. Uh, uh, not that many. I really haven't. Uh, I've played... Oh, shoot. Which ones have I played? That's a good question. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let's see. So I've played... Oh, yeah. I played that Cthulhu game. I played the, the Cthulhu love game. I've played, I guess, To the Moon does not count. That's not a visual novel. Guess how many visual novels I've played? How about a million? Also, Darren. Hey, what's up? My wizardly friend. How are you doing? Oi, oi, oi. You're here just in time for me to say goodbye to you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We just finished. We just finished playing a little bit of Doki Doki. A little bit of the Doki Doki Literature Club. Oi, oi. But it's so good to see you. I hope everything's going good. Uh, yeah, it looks like, looks like Doki Doki takes, it says main story is four hours. It's probably going to take longer than that, right? Oh man, my voice kind of hurts. My voice kind of hurts after that. I, I don't, shoot, I wonder if I'm gonna need to take a day off. I, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll see how my voice feels tomorrow. If it feels bad, maybe we'll play more, um, maybe we'll play more Mortuary Assistant. We'll see. We'll see how my voice feels because it, it's kind of strained by doing these, uh, these weird high-pitched, squealy, horrible sounding voices. <laughs> a little bit of doki doki. A little bit of the Doki Doki Literature Club. Ah, yes. A fine gentleman such as myself loves to play Doki Doki Literature Club. The girls are adorable. <laughs> God, that makes it so much worse. Be sure to follow Darren the Wizard at twitch.tv slash Darren the Wizard. They were last playing Examiner. A very difficult physics-based battle game. Yes, it's a it's like getting over it, but with swords. It's like getting over it, except for it's a top-down sword game. It's kind of cool. It's kind of sick, nasty with it. If only it had achievements, then I would play it. <laughs> See, that even hurts my voice. My God. But yeah, Darren, I hope everything's been going well, my friend. Golly, I get to see Frulio. I get to see Darren. All my friends are back. All my friends are back. Hooray, hooray, hooray. The pigeon dating one is hilarious, and it gets weird as hell. If you date a certain number, you open a secret ending. <gasps> the harem ending? Oh, you're talking about Hatoful full boyfriend or something? I have a few visual novels that I haven't even... Wait, no, I played... Okay, wait, 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 wait. 
It's a thousand and four. That's a lot. That's a frick ton of, of visual novels. I gotta admit. Listen, I gotta admit it. I've played. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm looking at my list right now. I have finished. Where's where's my finished category? Cause I I played Hate Incorporated. Is that the name of that? Where where is the? I made a category on my Steam library for things that I finished, but I don't see it right now. I've I used to play a lot more visual novels, but I haven't played I haven't played too many recently. Let me see. I think I think that there's a trick that you can do with your Steam library. You like you go to collections, create a new collection, maybe visual. I'll just say visual novel. We'll do a dynamic collection. And then we can find the tag visual novel. And then it should autofill the ones. These are the ones that are installed. These are all the ones that I have. So I've played Shangui. Uh, I've played, let's see, let's see. Summer and Mara is not a visual novel. I played Sucker for Love. Uh, I played doo -doo 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 -doo. a little bit of Long Live the Queen, but I wouldn't count that. Go Go Nippon is, is pretty cute. Nippon. Uh, what else? Dysfunctional Systems. This is like a little indie game that, uh, that never actually launched. But I, I played like season one. Some game called Cupid. I've played Cinders. Uh, Analog, A Hate Story is really good. Uh, and I think that's it. I think that that's all the visual novels I've played. So yeah, not too many. Higurashi is messed up. Yeah, you better look out. Higurashi, will, it'll make you cry. It'll make you cry. Oh no, my characters, they're dying. I yeah, I wanna I wanna watch that show. It's pretty it's it's pretty interesting so far. I made it through like four episodes or something like that. Uh, you've moved again. New town. You started a new job. You're installing solar. The electrical wizard apprentice. Busy, busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've already talked about this, Darren. I remember you going like, like traveling like four hours just to do an interview for that job. And then, yeah, I heard that you, you, you told us that you got it. So excited for you. I didn't know that it was solar panels. That's dope. That's dope. I, I kind of love that. I kind of love that. Help because you're like doing a good environmental thing and making money, and it's a job that's really necessary. That's awesome. You watch the whole first season. You're starting season two. Wow, and you'll be through it in no time. Oh boy, oh boy. I hope you love it. I hope you love it, and I hope that you cry. Uh, okay, Human One is live. I'm gonna be playing Fortnite with them in a little bit. Uh, so we're gonna raid them, give them some love. They're part of uh, my stream team, Totally Human. And they are a totally awesome human being. I'll tell you what, we love Human One. They're super adorable and they play lots of good games and y'all should totally follow them. And I'll also be playing games over there. So you'll hear my voice in a little bit. I'm just gonna go like rest it for a second. So that I can get my poo boy voice back. Yes, <laughs> yes indeed. But I hope that y'all had a wonderful evening. Thanks, thanks so much for jumping in if you just jumped in. And thanks so much for hanging out. If you've been hanging out this whole time, I just, uh. Love y'all, and I hope y'all had a, a good time. Thank you so much for the raids. Warwick raided. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down. Warwick raided like right after we got raided by the Elder Irish, new friendo. And we also were raided by Dash Retro, who I got to meet at TwitchCon. All amazing peeps. You should totally check them out. And uh, yeah, we're gonna say totally human raid. And since we got a lot of people that don't have a, a subscription, I'll just put, uh, I'll just put purple hearts. Totally human raid. Totally human raid. Oh bother. I'm gonna say oh bother because I'm gonna try to bait human one into doing a poo impression. Let's hope so. Let's hope that they do it, okay? This is bait. See this? Oh bother. We'll see if they we'll see if they try. <laughs> But yes, yes. Thanks for hanging out. Hope y'all had a good time. And let's get this raid started. Let's get this raid started to Human 1. Human 1 is like literally the name of our um, of our stream team. It's kind of awesome. Hey, Human 1 is like the perfect member of Totally Human. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with either Doki Doki or... Um, or mortuary assistant, depending on how I how my voice feels. If it needs rest, we'll do a mortuary assistant. But yeah.
hopefully we'll be on time, baby. Yeah, feel free to change out the emotes if you want to. And yeah, good night, Tayaki. Thanks so much for hanging out. Ah, wah, 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 wah. It was good to see you, Darren. Thanks for jumping in. Jedi, thanks for watching over the chat. Thank you, Linz. Thank you, Alchemic, who's not here. Thank you, Dai, who's not here. Bree Groovy, uh, I'm so glad that you're here. Night, 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 night. We'll see you later. Independent Oreo, much love. Uh, Frulio, thanks so much for jumping in. I missed you. Wow, wow. I'll send you a message. Sandwich Nom Nom. I'll see you later too. And thanks for the beautiful art. Deep fire. Bye bye. Okay, everybody else too. Bye bye. Kisses, hugs. Beep beep. Bing bang boom.